Welcome to the Samwell B12 Experience, where we have you covered for all the NHL action, play-by-play, -play, news, and more. Make sure to subscribe today. Welcome to the Florida Panthers and the Dallas Stars, and I'm so excited for tonight's game. 
We got the cap on. We're rocking the Verhage jersey. We're all set to go as these two elites in the National Hockey League are going to battle it out. JDA, what's up? 19 months of pure awesomeness. Thank you for all you do. I'm proud to call you my brother. Keep kicking butt. Thank you, Jordan. Appreciate you so much, brother. It has been a wild ride, and I'm glad you are part of it. And welcome in, everyone. We're going to have so much fun tonight. Good to see you, Hayden. Welcome in. Beverly, good to see you. B. Disney in the house. Theo, Sam Eagle, good to see you. Louis D., welcome in. Louis, thank you for the PayPal the other day. I think it was you. Um, thank you for the PayPal the other day. I got the email after the stream, so I didn't get a chance to thank you for it. Cherry, what's going on? Bon, welcome in. I can prep. Good to see you. Mr. Snow, welcome to the show. Good to see you and welcome in everybody. I hope I'm not missing anyone. Daniel, what's up? Cherry, I think I got you. Welcome to the show. I can't wait. The Panthers, the stars. Oh, here we go. Let's get set. There he is. AAU, what's going on, buddy? Coming in with that shimmy, making me making me rock and roll a little early. But we're set. We're ready. And here are, oh, you're going with the freeze too. Double it up. Here you go. Here are the expected lineups tonight. The Panthers, 44, 17, and 4. They're going with newly acquired Vladimir Tarasenko, who had two goals in the de his debut. Steph, what's going on? Welcome in. Tarasenko with Alex Barkov and Sam Reinhardt. We got my boy Carter Verhage with Sam Bennett and Matthew Kachuk. E2 Listerinen with Anton Lundell and Macon. The Cats debut tonight, Kyle Ocpozo. All right, we got the fourth line of Nick Cousins with Kevin Sternland and Ryan Lomberg. On the D side, Gustav Forsling with OEL, Oliver Ekman, Larson. We got Nico McCullough with Brandon Montour, Josh Mara and Dmitry Kulikov. And the Bobo, the Bobo Cop, Sergei Bobrovsky, Garden the red line, tending the twine is set to be the last line of defense for the Panthers. For the Dallas Stars, who are 40, 17, and 9. These records are insane. Jonathan, what's going on? It's Jason Robertson with Rube Heinz and Joe Pavalski. Mason Marchant with Matt, do 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 do, Shane, and Sam Steele. We got Jamie Ben with Wyatt Johnston. And a Logan a Stan Coven. If you were with us watching the World Juniors, you know Logan Stan Coven. This kid can play. We got Ty Delandria with Radic Fask and Craig Smith. On the D side, Thomas Harley with Miro Heskinen. S.L. Lindell with Chris Tanev. Ryan Suter with Yanni Hakapa and Ottinger set to take the net tonight. A battle of two darn good goaltenders. Tyler Sagan is out, as is Evgandy Dandinoff. Evan Rodriguez and Aaron Ekblad out for the Cats. Two big injuries for the Florida Panthers. Roger, what's going on? Welcome to the show. All right. Now, the Florida Panthers, if you didn't already know, absolutely dominating the hockey, hockey world. 92 points. I'm on top of the world. Hey, 92 points. The Florida Panthers crushing it. The Dallas Stars in the West, 89 points. They are doing pretty darn good. Second only to the Vancouver Canuckleheads. So this is going to be, like I said, a matchup of the Elite Two. Spectacular teams going head-to-head. -head. The Florida Panthers have been one in offense, one in defense, one in like every category since the midway part of this season. They've been absolutely on a roll, and it is set to go. We're going to have face-off coming up momentarily, but a couple of pieces of information to watch. Sergei Bobrovsky has allowed two goals or fewer in 12 consecutive games dating back to January 24th. He can surpass Martin Brodeur, who had 12 games done in 10-11, and Jacques Plante, who also went 12 games in 70-71 for the longest stretch by a goaltender aged 35 or older. So Bobo looking to go 12 consecutive games, giving up two goals or less. Now for Jason Robertson of the Stars, he can become 
the third fastest player in Stars North Stars history to reach the 300 point mark. The current top three are Bobby Smith, Neil Broughton, and Tyler Sagan. So Jason Robertson looking to make some history as well. Two great teams with a whole bunch of talent going to battle it out, and I cannot wait. Uh, thank you so much, Steph. I appreciate it. We Listen, we do it all. Panthers are my number two. I wish I could have done more of them uh, throughout this year, but down the stretch, we got our Leafs. We're going to be covering more Panthers. We're going to be covering more Oilers. And, of course, Vancouver, we're going to be watching this. Going into the playoffs, there's a lot of potential matchups, so we want to bring as much action as we can. Gretchen, what's going on? Let's go, Panthers. I'm so excited, and I'm so excited that I get to break out the Verhage jersey tonight. I've been waiting so long to wear this on stream, and that's why I'm so amped up tonight. So excited to see the Cats go. Oh. Oh, I feel like it's been so long since I've actually sat down and watched a Florida Panther game, but it is going to be wild. These teams are super, super exciting to play. I expect the pace of this game to be fast. It's not going to be super hard hitting at first. I expect to see great puck movement, lots of setting up, lots of shots from the point, and of course, some spectacular goaltending. So this game should have everything that we expect from a Class A hockey game. Uh, who do we want to play in the first round for the Leafs? Mr. Snow, I don't know. <laughs> All right, we're going to end up with either Florida or Boston, and both of those teams are going to be brutal. So I'm excited to see these guys go. Leafs, we'll talk about them on Thursday when they play the Flyers, but it's Panther time. Curtis, what's going on? Welcome in. Happy to see you. Thank you, Steph. I appreciate it. We've been having a blast. It's been going through the moon, and I thank everybody for their support. All right, it's game time. Let's bring this up. Let's Division, go, Panthers. Florida, Stars. number one in the time Atlantic and overall in the NHL. And the puck is dropped. We are underway from American Airlines Center. A very highly anticipated affair between two clubs that are meeting here for the second and final time, and Few people expect them to make deep runs as we get to spring. It's Thomas Harley moving it forward for Pavelski. His pass is cut off by Forsling. Forsling across. Sam Reinhardt is there. Drops it off for Barkov. Down into the corner. Puck still on his stick behind the net. And he'll bank it over to Montour with a blast. And off it goes to the sidewall. Pressure there from the Panthers, but it's chipped out to center. You can already Andrew, see the going Panther on? defense scurrying, so very much. attentive to the star stretch game with forwards busting up the ice. They're back there in their face. More checking pressure here from Dallas and a very good line. Makes it away. Behind Stan the net. Coven with a low shot. His stick was hit. So there is a slight, is a slight the delay between the audio and, the and what we see the on the screen. So we're going to call tonight's game based the on the audio. So you might see if something comes up on the screen that we haven't called yet. It's probably coming up in the next 30 seconds or so. So just keep that in mind. Now you know so we have our points. That you can redeem your points. We got redeemed circle. Panthers. Stay we got redeemed Stars NHL tonight. Game. And you can check your points, points at any time by doing exclamation mark points in the right chat. Canab goes back to play. It's his home debut for Dallas. And it picked up before the deadline. Turnover. Florida, shot. quick shot, Turn rebound. On Kachuk from close range. Ben. He get it out to center. And grabbed back by the Dallas captain across the blue line. And shot well, into the going to hang on to that. Like we thought, a, a couple of quick shots out of the gate, some back and forth Jane movement. Goddard, we knew this was going to be a fast-paced game, and it is not letting us down by any means. If he no Florida too loses much two, him. three games in a row. Kachuk has a window on the short side. Jake yeah, Mr. Snow, in there, that's the thing the I love about this time of year down the stretch is a couple of games can really change circle, what those potential matchups are going to look like. Jade, what's going on? Good to see you. Welcome in. Same lineup for the stars that they had in their most recent game Saturday night, the victory in Los Angeles. Yeah, the wing, wings were pressing on it. Wings were right up there as well. Five game winning streak. 
Of course, not not faring too well right now. Yeah, with that 5-1 uh, deficit. Dades at the arena. Love it. Thank you for coming in. Victoria, how's it going? Huge hand in the Panthers 5-4 win in December. A four-point game for him. He's out of the line. Laterally in the defensive zone. Ends it off good for checking by the cats. Time. Keep the stars at bay. Lucas, good Fox. evening. He's got goals in three of his last four ahead. Smith pulls it off of his blade. Delandria follow up. But Brosky the save. And played via high stick by the Panthers. Touch next by Cousins, which brings the whistle. It's a nice little delay play. The one thing I like about the, the Panthers is not only. Nice. Are they a good puck moving team, a good shooting team? I mean, they're putting a ton of goals on the board, but they can get in those corners and muck it up. They can be a little grimy and greasy. You always got to watch out for Kachuk, Nick Cousins. These guys can get physical at any time. So the Panthers really have it all. The Dallas, this is going to be a good test for the Dallas Stars. And played extremely well for the Stars. They need their fourth line here tonight to have a bite in this game. Panthers bank out to center off of Cousins. Andre Christian the net to play just did slide it past the charging lumber. Euro Haskin in forward. Now Fox it turns. Fed it out to the front, but awaiting with Stenland to intercept. That's really Panthers funny. Through neutral ice. Lomberg lost his balance. That's the truth. <laughs> dumped it in. PJ, what's Florida going on? Harley the stretch. Out for Pavelski. He'll walk it into Panther territory. One handed along for Hintz. Keeps the puck moving. Robertson charging down the far side. And then Forsling turns away from pressure. Kept in by Lindell. His shot made it through. Another great save. The save. A drive by redirect, I think. Now, for those who well. don't know, Jason Robertson is the brother of the Toronto Nick Robertson. Robertson. Vladimir Tarasenko and Jason Robertson pick up definitely by Florida. more skilled of the two. Has it knifed off his stick. Reinhardt, second in NHL goal scoring, 45 on the campaign behind only Austin Matthews. He's having a staggeringly good season. Uh oh, so it's a 2 0 Dallas, 2 0. They score, scores. no! A very rare mistake the by the Florida early. Panthers, and it cost them not only a bad defensive play, where it broke down and Dallas ends up with a 2 on 0. They didn't elect to go in passing back and forth. They moved one pass, moved it up to a breakaway, and Bobrovsky just caught standing still and lets it go five hole. Unbelievable. Joe. Oh, Balski, like this Bobrovsky complete. <laughs> it's almost like he said, oh, it's Pavalski. I better let this one in. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> TJ, that's okay. Peter, welcome in. Joe Pavalski still got it. Three in which he's tallied. He's also added an assist in those games. Make them all multi-point affairs. Oh. In on Unger, who punched it along with the blocker. Wyatt Johnston grabs. Johnston and Robertson get the assists on the Pavelski marker. That bad in front. Oh, what a glove save. Great glove save. Stankoven is absolutely robbed by the left hand of Bobrovsky. This is supreme larceny. Jamie Ben threads it over perfectly to Stankoven, and the kid ripped it immediately. Bobrovsky never lost it. Showed the world. We talked about Stankoven. Stankoven, the right place, the right time, right and a glove save just comes flying. Wow, and the first was that incredible? Game. That's making up for that bad that one, goal he gave up. This game unfolds tonight. Stankoven has five goals in eight games. Ben has assists in eight of his last 11, and it took an absolute highlight reel save to deny additions to both of those guys as it's offside. No points the last couple of games for young Stankoven. And ben Wall, Jamie's what's going on? Welcome in. Yeah, we're going to talk about that at first intermission. Fabulous assists. 
You can tell Stan Goldman's like, guys don't make gloves gra grabs like that in the American Hockey League consistently. He's up against one of the best on the planet and showed it. And as you mentioned earlier, Bobrovsky has just a long resume of doing exactly that to the Stars. Yet through it all, Dallas still maintains a 1-0 lead. Great start here. Just about five minutes in. Stars with a 6-3 shot advantage, and they struck early. Pavelski with the goal less than four minutes in. Pocket puck. Angled across now. It's Marchman. Marchman. Penalty upcoming against Florida. He still has a man to Shane. And the shot fluttered wide. Duchesne was impeded. It was going to be another odd man rush, and Dallas will go on the power play. Well, the Stars transition game and their oh. exits out of their own zone are trapping the Panther forwards, and Duchesne just got mauled on his way down the right wing side. They, they're going to call it interference. It was a mauling. And the shot. <laughs> I, on a I love puck. these announcers. It was not a mauling. It was definitely it interference. That, really, they, definitely they got in the way of the Dallas of player, Listerine. Kind of got his arm wrapped in there, slowed him up. Lately on the power play. Last four games, lots of but contributors. Jamie too. Benn has a power play goal in his last this four power play games. To looking to extend TXU that. Energy. As I mentioned, there's a big delay between kind of the scoreboard and the game that we're calling so just keep that in mind as we go clearance from florida allows the stars to spread out hayes get in and robertson and then the pressure does move it all the way down the sheet You're just coming in stars as well make sure you hit that like button play. for Panthers us number seven up. ranked penalty kill just under 82 percent it splits a pair I ain't coming save in great rebound. save again Bobrovsky. Well. holy Pavelski cow denied by Bobrovsky. Man, have the stars gotten some looks on the Mark, Florida what's going on? Welcome in. Top of the zone, Hayes getting quickly off for Beverly, Hayes. 15 months. Thank you, Beverly. Going Having a blast. Bullikov, Thank you. Forward for Reinhardt. Takes his time. He's very dangerous shorthanded here. Just airmails it down the rink. Man, just an absolute te tentacular start to this. Gordon, what's going on? For Bobrovsky, and it's been needed on their side. Stars will play it back in. Second unit out there for Dallas. Marshmitt, the former Panther, and juggled down to Duchesne, who drew the penalty. <laughs> I hope it's not a good game for Dallas. I hope Florida decides line. to wake up Dallas and get, to get themselves going here. 50 seconds left to the man advantage. Stankoven was stood up on Florida the line. Florida doing a nice job on the up penalty kill. Stenland, working against Haskinen. The Panthers shorthanded. Forced wide behind the net. Haskinen lost his stick. It's loose and grabbed by Duchesne. His pass misses Stankoven. Mikola first on the scene. Can bunt it along Montour, who slaps it down the sheet. Three on two. Conscious so of their ability to score shorthanded. Here's Florida a coming out right in the high slot with a shot. Nice kick save. They bring these two out late in a lot of penalty kills. 13 Barkov minutes and, to and go. Reinhardt. That combination, that kick save and a beauty from Otter. Liddell. Drives it ahead for Smith. Final seconds on the low Losterine and interference penalty. The Stars got some outstanding looks early on, but can't cash in. So 0 for 1 on the power play. Remains 1-0 Dallas. I really do love that attack when Rope Hans carves through the middle. And they have seriously carved up the defensive posture of the... A quick Panthers shot here from Rossi taking that right now. Look at that. hangs on to He's that wrister from Craig Smith. This on paper was a tremendous game, and it has turned in to a high octane. Season. I think they're going to go to a commercial break. What an absolutely crazy start here. Like we said, fast paced, some good puck movement. It was one breakdown the Florida Panthers had, and Bobrovsky misplayed it, and Dallas goes up one nothing again welcome in thank you for being here this is a battle of the elite and i'm so excited to bring it to you <clears throat> coming up this week thursday night it's the maple leafs and i think they're playing the philadelphia flyers so we'll be back and uh better than ever you know we're gonna have a lot of fun for that game as well a lot of playoff implications all these next kind of 15 games 16 games whatever the number is that's left it's each win could impact these matchups.
Spaceman, what's going on? Have the Cats been your second favorite team since the Miami Arena days? Yeah, you know, I, I didn't get to go to any of those games out of Miami. I didn't start going till they were over in, in Sunrise. Um, but I've always, since they came into the league, I've always been a fan. Um, really, really like this team. Ryan, what's going on? Welcome in, buddy. Go Stars. Um, but yeah, Spaceman, always been a fan. And I couldn't tell you why. I think when they first came in, I was like, Hey, that's a pretty cool logo, that Jumping Panther. It was pretty awesome. Then there were a couple of players that I kind of took a liking to. And, um, you know, the team took a little while to build up. And once they got going and once I got to go to a couple games and just loved it, I just wish they wouldn't rename their arena every other year. <laughs> the arena has had more names than, uh, well, than like anything else. It's every other year, it's a new name. It's crazy. But uh, it's pretty awesome. I did the Miami arena. Oh, you saw them in Miami. Oh, that's awesome. Did you like that arena, Ryan? How does it compare to uh, the Amaranth? Van, yeah, Van Viesbrook was awesome. Love it. All right, they're just been a lot of home games since the All Star break. Just five. Oh, in a Bobo's been great. Other than that, January bad play. Dribbler in on Bobrovsky, makes the save on the redirection. Oh, it was madness. Play five and 11 nights on this homestand. Bennett Here they come, putting it right on Ottinger. With the paddle down, the cage. making a nice stop there. Ottinger was able to turn that along, and the Stars dump and change. Five-game homestand for the Stars. It ties for the season is better. long All right, is cool. a turnover. Robertson. Big seal. He'll settle at the bottom of the near circle. And Suter, high tip by Hintz, just goes wide. Also, plucked free by Robertson, right as Bob well, Rossi was, was trying to a, cover. A comeback around for Bob Rossi. Right, the Panthers are doing that. That play off position. The Panthers have put themselves in I just in wish they could have kept Alex Long. Well. I really like that. Stars have played fast more than anything here in the early going with their legs and with their puck movement. Faster than Florida has. Panthers have a lot of offensive weapons. They added the deadline as well, but it's the defense that's led the way. They have the number one. The Panthers one also putting out some goals against to the get season. Some long out of blood. Contracts. You there. wouldn't know it from the way they've started. But, uh, here right now, the Dallas have, has the upper hand. Dallas them, putting the pressure on and again with Jason Robertson. They created a some quick turnovers. steal there, leading to another the, uh, couple of opportunities that for Dallas. The two on over off, the tried to cover it up, but uh, some it was choice shot there opportunities to against Bob Rosky Rosky right after that. I think the Leafs and Panthers are in the final. was anticipating one more pass from Joe Pavelski. Kept his feet So they they would because they're in the same conference. It would be like the conference final. They um, anytime Panthers, Florida and Toronto meet, Toronto, 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 Toronto is always my first Toronto is my number one, so when Florida and Toronto play, I'm always kind of Toronto. Stars keep it in off the backboards. Bob is top three. Uh, Benoit, absolutely, and he's paid that way. And up to the blue line, he's getting with a shot. A I think what is he, ten million a year, something like that. He's, he's making top dollar. Mosterin and cross for Mahora. He's the man who checks in in the absence of Ekblad. I mean, they've been hard on the puck, and they've worked to reload. Wow, they sounds don't have pretty the rowdy there in Dallas. Out of the Florida zone. Sam Steele rushes behind the net. Puck still on his blade. Up high, Harley snaps a shot that was blocked by Stenlin. That hurt his right good, hand. Good coverage there by the Panthers defensively. And block continues to do that as he heads to the bench. And, and the Panthers icing. Ice and draw. Looks like players to do Sterling that. Sterling is uh, to showing the, a bit of discomfort after blocking that shot. Putting the body on the line. You know, they, they get the glove out. It's just but I'll a, say, a you know, the cover puck movement the, of the Dallas right now by is what's Sam giving them the advantage in this game. Into the zone, the shot from distance. They're leading the rush. They got the head up. The They're really That's carrying where all the protection well. is on the back side of it. Sting for a little bit. Pray that it's players. not broken. Yeah. Stenlin has Absolutely. 10 goals, part of their depth scoring. And, and he, you know, Bobo's earned it, right? He has earned it. Prior member of the Columbus Blue Jackets. Johnny Hodgson raced for contact. Lomberg stepped in to hit him. Two guys who throw their weight Here around, but a Florida. mismatch inside. Three Back comes Florida. Bennett across. Chance at blocking it was Hockenpah. Getting in the Can't way. Get never let that shot through. That poked along. A follow-up. 
And the Panthers watch it hit the netting. That latest rush from Bennett on the bouncing puck. Half a period. Well, they're coming gone close. By the Dallas. Panthers are coming close. But they haven't struck yet. They're going to a commercial break. Uh, Lucas, Toronto is up quite a few games on Tampa and Detroit. They're about 10 points up on Detroit and uh, eight points up on Tampa. So unless they have a colossal decline, uh, Toronto, Toronto is going to make the playoffs. Now, how well they do in the playoffs is a completely different story. They'll be there. The question is, how long? And, uh, you know, if the first round matchups end the way they did the other day and we kind of looked at them and it is a Toronto-Boston first round matchup, there's so many stories in that first round. Um, you know, my gut tells me it's going to be a seven-gamer, but I just don't know if Toronto has enough. Boston is such a good team. They're physical. They're talented. They're good at everything. Plus, they always seem to have the side of the officials. <laughs> and I'm not saying it's fixed. I'm not saying it's rigged. I'm just saying... Toronto always comes out on the wrong side of a lot of calls. Depends on Domi, Nyes, and Bertuzzi. Yeah, so Steph, everybody says Bertuzzi is the playoff guy. Bertuzzi is the playoff guy. He better show up and be that playoff guy. I have very high expectations for him once we get in the playoffs. I love what Domi's doing. I hope they continue to play him on the second line. Drop Tavares back down to that third. He was really thriving there playing against other teams' third lines. Um, but it's going to be interesting. It's going to be very, very interesting. Um, and I think it's it's going to come down to the goaltending. You know, whether it's Swayman or Allmark, you know the Boston goaltending is solid. It's going to come down to Wall or Samsonoff or Jones for that matter. Whoever gets the nod, their goaltending has to be the best it's been all season and then some. That's what that series is going to come down to. Uh, but it's going to be a lot of fun. These Panthers... Whoever they're going to end up against, oh boy, oh boy. I think, what did we see in the in the latest prediction? Let me pull it up here. They're going to end up against Tampa Bay. If that still holds true or not, you know, that could change with the wild card seedings. But boy, that would be an awesome first round series as well. Florida and Tampa Bay. All right, Florida on the power play. Let's see what they can do as Matt Duchesne takes a hooking call. Let's see if the Panthers can strike back. Get one here on the board. He's strong on pucks. Obviously, he can rip it. Panthers start out from their zone. A hustle through center. Barkov feeds it off on the left. Yeah, it's been, it around, it's been pretty crazy. I don't know Montour if you saw what happened with Tortorella the other night as well. We're going to talk about it in a bit. Absolutely crazy. Stars penalty kill is eighth just behind. Mark, they did not blame it on the ref. Are you serious? The number that makes me laugh unit. so much. Since a couple of days if, the, after if Boston Christmas, was complaining they about the officials that's hysterical 25 of 31 games on the power <laughs> play. it really is Mar, what's going on the welcome in clear it by Liddell. might be a little rusty teams Bobo, have been avoiding move this their up power ice. play in, in recent games only four in the last three and they're struggling to get their set up here on the first power of the play. night here seems like that's the only thing that could slow them down as of late Kyle Oposo, the former Sabres captain. This is his Panthers debut after being acquired at the deadline. He's in for Rodriguez, but another turnover and another clearance. 100%. Going clinical for the Stars penalty kill so far. 23 left on the power play for the Panthers. A shot from the wing, save made. The rebound stays on the perimeter. Hunted down by Suter, and he'll clear. Quickly back in, it's Bennett from the slot in a glove save. Quick shot, nice glove save there. Uh, home advantage the simply Biter. gives you the extra and game. Word from right? that, that really is, is what it's about. It's If you have home ice advantage, you have games one and two. You're on the road for three and four. Five is at home, six is on the road, and seven is at home. I don't buy into Crossbar, home ice advantage being that much of an advantage. Grab, We've uh, seen over the last couple of years, home teams losing here. that game seven a lot. 
Uh, but you saw so I don't know how much of an advantage it really creates. Off the stick of Haskinen. Yeah, St. Louis, you know, they funnels it down low. They have a lot of talent, right? They should be performing better than they are. And they're right on the cusp, too. They're with Minnesota for that last wild card spot. They got to start winning. Vegas is having some troubles, so it's now now's the time. Nashville's been one of the hottest teams in the league. So it's going to be tough for St. Louis to catch them. I'm shocked there wasn't a, a slash call on Lombard there who was trying to match the foot speed of Hintz, who is flying tonight. Hintz was shaking off that left hand. He agrees with you. Oh, I see. He made Pretty much, yeah. To the it's all based on points and seeding. Esa Lindell on the left wing side. Duchesne, the drop pass. Lombard was in the way. He intercepts. And, just and if does it's clear. high, you know, there's the series. Matt, who won the series? Lombard matchup. sidesteps one. Finds for Hagee. His shot got blocked. Follow up Montour, a wrister off a lot during up and Montour out of work. Coming close. 6.37 to go Stars here get a ton of, in the first period. Uh, one nothing Dallas Panthers starting the to bring it right now. Packed on starting to, to exit again. bring it. You know, stretch it's been forward, a fun game so far. Good pace. To get it really good pace. Right on the hand Other than that Lombard. one blunder. No Bobo's been about solid. Officers nice made some nice play. saves. That gets called all the time. Rope trying to leave it against the green and Bobrovsky says yeah, if we no were you to don't. finish above them 14th in the standings best, plus minus in the NHL Rope hints on look Reinhardt has a dazzling shooting percentage of an unsustainable 25% but hints is pretty close at least that's how that is a high number Francis Sharon Corey Savret are the referees CJ Murray Ben O'Quinn have the lines as it's up and out of play I think Pete DeBoer enjoys what he's seeing here tonight from his charges coaches love tests like this game see what the battle level is in the team and in individuals play hard play between the whistles stand in sacrifice to make plays put your best game out there and see whether they can handle it and so far the stars have done exactly that late in the season when you've got a matchup like this all the guys were asked about it on both sides heading in everyone's gearing up for playoffs what does it feel like to go into a regular season game between teams like this well yeah i mean especially coming <laughs> off some of the games we've played recently with teams going nowhere right san jose and anaheim and this will perk the ears up Definitely perked so far. Six minutes. The stars no on the get back in this. Fight for it in the corner. Plucked out by Stan Coben. His pass intended for the point was intercepted. Shot in by Tarasenko. Third game for the Panthers for Tarasenko, who came over from Ottawa. It's the second straight deadline where he moved. St. Louis to the New York Rangers Dallas last year. And on. Signed the one-year deal in Ottawa before the scenery change. And that late season stuff for the Rangers it didn't That's work so for true, them Mark. last year the Panthers hoping they get that a guy that can score that goal right they, you're always looking for defensemen that that can handle whatever the other side's bringing and some guys that can put and the, the puck in there intercept Panthers from the wing off fly. the stick of Otger but that centering pass Marchman shoots it in from the red line Duchesne awaits he gets contacted there by Oposo Cleared out to center ice. Thomas Harley on the scene. Nice pass ahead for Steele. Leaves it Marchman. Weaves to the slot. Shovel backhand goes wide. And out to center where Harley hops to it. Harley hasn't scored the last 10 games. One assist over that span. He still ranks among the D goal leaders. Continues to find himself in prime position. To hold up and neutralize his Kachuk does so long enough. Nice then pass. Slides a pass and a shot. Ekman Larson blocked by Hart. At center ice, Ty Delandria walks it in. He's got Smith. Delandria forehand. Save Bob Ross. The speed right now they is keep absolutely their D. Their, their insane. Like this is crazy. To try to hold gap and the stars are blasting through that. Bouncing puck, Corral, Cousins, back for Stenland. Save made by Unger. It's loose. Panthers have it. Cousins pass. Couldn't get through a couple of star sticks. Stenland leaves it for Kachuk. He tries to twist it out towards the slot. Karam behind the net and around to the far side. Dallas lifts it high, not out of the zone. And jumping on it is Montour. 
Close one wide of the net. Delandria bumped it to the corner. Contact from Stanley. In steps Yanni Hockenpah. Staples him off. Played around for Montour. From inside the blue line. Back for Cousins. Up high, Stenlin shot blocked. Delandria came out to challenge and it crawls to center. A well, good black blocked by, by Ty Delandria. They've lost a, a puck battle just inside the blue line. It allowed the Panthers to get after it. <laughs> Curtis, that's changing. really funny. 3.15 and counting left in the first period. 1 0 stars. It was billed as a good one. It has been a good one so far tonight. Just about in Dallas. three minutes right left on this broadcast the clock. around the wall. Stars get to it. Robertson banks it ahead. He'll follow up himself. Quick chip past Tarasenko. The two of them hit to hip and out to center it goes. And the, the intensity throttle is wide open here in this opening period. Dmitry Kulikov keeps it on his blade. Knocked oh, down that should be a penalty. The line by Duchesne. Play goes on. It's kept in the zone. Reinhardt. No call. Stolen though. by Lindell. Robertson. To the Panther zone, it's set. Beckman Larson, he's got a right hook. Bank securely back for Oliver Beckman Larson. Hits the red line. Under stays put. He wasn't There's at the with center now line, we got so that is icing. It's an icing against spot. Florida. Thought they just hey, called for a trip. But it's going to be an icing call. we got a couple of minutes left here. So to answer your question uh, earlier for home ice advantage, how it works is through the first two rounds... It goes to the team that placed higher in the regular season standings. That's for rounds one and two. In the conference final and Stanley Cup final, home ice goes to the team that had the better regular season record, regardless of the team's final standings in their divisions. So I know it's a little confusing, but for the first two rounds anyways, yes, it's based on who placed higher. Still just one goal. All right, so it's Pavalski who has Dallas up one nothing. Florida can't seem to get back in here. Dallas is shutting them down, but it's been a great game. Coming up in uh, about a minute or so, when this game, minute and a half, when this goes to intermission, we're going to go over some news from the last couple of days. We're going to talk about the Rempe hit on Sliegenheimer. Sliegenheimer, however you pronounce it, we're going to talk about that in a whole lot more so make sure you stick around at intermission this has been a good hockey game we knew it would be and it's right now living up to all my expectations if you're just coming in to join us thank you for being here make sure you hit that like button we want to get those likes up we're on our way to 50 right now so smash that thumbs up we're going to start picking up a couple more panther games down the stretch here and of course into the playoffs we're going to be covering a whole lot of teams it's going to be a lot of fun but right now, it's the Dallas Stars who have this kind of in hand for the first period with a couple extra shots. They put one in. Florida, though, has the lead in the faceoff circle. They have the advantage there and the advantage on the hits. You can tell the tides are starting to turn. Florida getting some good quality opportunities throughout the second half of this period. It definitely took them a few to get going but we do have a penalty coming up and it's going to be my boy carter what are you doing carter verhage is going to the box against logan stankova and he gave a little uh, a little hook and so carter verhage going to go to the box florida is going to be shorthanded for the remainder of this period this is florida is panthers good. here late in the opening frame paul said this morning that these two teams coached by Absolutely good friends are nothing. only different in oh systems Gator, what's Otherwise, going on? Same approach. Gator love that. The board essentially said the awesome. same thing to us this morning. That is very too, cool. And believe that attacking and, and pressure, honest effort, really the hallmark of their philosophies in behind the bench. And look, the Panthers survived the early onslaught from the stars. They pushed back a little bit as the periods moved along. Stars with it will free it up for Stankoven. Charges through center. He got hooked off the play by Verhage. Verhage That's going to be a penalty against the Panther forward. Again, we got a little bit of a delay. The power play for the second time. But you see where all this is starting, the, uh, right? Like the, the Panthers want to get the after the Stars with their forecheck, but they're, they're trapping three forwards and then 
chasing now, the stars back our channel, into their zone. And are not you're already aware. You're earning points just by hanging out with me here. You can type foul an foul exclamation mark individual points like into the chat. I'll tell you here's an how many points for the stars to get a little gap. You can then bring up graphics, whether it's Panther graphics, Dallas graphics, other team graphics, all kinds of stuff. Penalties against San Jose game long in the late stages of the yeah, first period, really which helped Dallas get you back know, into a game. I often wonder, you know, how long the Valsky was going to go. He's already drawn in his early and NHL career. He's so and at 39 the years of age, he's doing so well for Dallas. He just never stops I mean, working. And it, such I mean, a good talent. Somebody that just buries their such head and goes good full throttle all the time, they're going to get some calls. Try to cash in Here on this Heinz. one. Hintz brings it in. Bounced off the skates of Robertson. He can never settle in time, and Haskinen's got to turn back to Chase. Just a few second differential between the period clock and the penalty clock. Pavelski over to Robertson. He's got Ben on the left side. Up top, Haskinen, the drive crumbled. Losterine, and who blocked it? And out to center it goes. Entrance for the stars. It's Ben. He'll leave it for him. Hintz. Left circle. Tried to go ben back. with a tip. On the pad of Bobrovsky. Bobo. Friendly Kicking fire after there. the pass was Ooh. broken up. He kept that out too. Stars have just done things so blisteringly oh, quick last here in the minute first here. period. We know it's going to come these to an end. Opportunities we'll just play and chase this one situations. Out. Wyatt Johnston to Duchesne. Second unit out there. Marchman couldn't go back to Duchesne, but it's kept in by Harley. He'll slide it across Stankovic. He's got Johnston. Top of the zone. Thomas Harley a shot. Tip! And Marchman just wide. He was that close to his 20th against his former club. But kicked out. And here come the Panthers. A two-on-two. It's Kachuk. A trailer two. And moved it back. Just pops and over his that stick. Was Barkov, who was spotting. Off. Kulikov. And 20 seconds. Played well. Nothing materializes. Stankovic. He goes off for Johnston. And back for Stankovic. Marchman over for Duchesne. Ten seconds left in the period. Logan Stankovic keeps it on his blade. His shot. Save Bobrovsky. And that's going to do it. The horn is going to go. Got the away first from period Stankovic. is officially in the books with the Stars up one nothing. All right, let's go. We got lots to discuss. Stats don't want to cooperate. Okay, so we're going to give me a second. Let me kick the give these stats a little kick in the pants. Get them to refresh for us. Oh boy, oh boy. All right. Well, they will come eventually. They will pop up. But I'll run down all the stats here in the first period. Dallas ends with 15 shots on net, 10 for the Panthers. Face-offs end up being 50-50, so Dallas coming back in the face-off circle. Uh, Dallas 0 for 2 on the power play. Florida 0 for 1. 15 hits for the Panthers, 8 for the Stars. 3 block shots for Dallas, 2 for the Panthers. 8 giveaways for Dallas. The fact they turn it over 8 times and Florida has not scored, very, very lucky. 3 giveaways for the Panthers. Now, the first time these two teams played this season back in December, 5-4 was the final. Florida took that one home. In this game, it's Joe Pavalski who scored his 24th of the year from Robertson and Johnson. Those are your stats right now. Steph, are you really six foot two? That's awesome. Uh, all right, there's there's a lot I want to talk about. Jeff, what's going on? Welcome in. Good to see you, buddy. There's a lot in the world of hockey that we need to talk about. First and foremost, we have our first team. Our first team who has been eliminated mathematically from the Stanley Cup playoffs. And the honor of that goes to... Brrr, the Chicago Blackhawks, congratulations, Connor Bedard and the Chicago Blackhawks. You have been eliminated. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. The Blackhawks, 
mathematically eliminated from this year's playoffs. And speaking of playoffs, for those who are keeping a calendar, mark it down, I believe April 22nd is the day when this is going to be starting, April 22nd. So we got a month and a half to go until all the fun gets going. Some news coming out of some NHL meetings. Nick, what's going on? Welcome in. Um, some news, you know, there's been all the shenanigans with the Vegas Golden Knights and putting, you know, stone on long-term IR with the lacerated spleen. Spleen is no joke. I hope he actually is doing better. But then using all of this money to sign, um, you know, Hurdle and Hannafin and all of a sudden, like they did last year, Vegas brings everybody back. Everybody is a okay come playoff time. Well, per Elliot Friedman, last night's Hockey Night in Canada, the NHL is looking to reassess the long-term IR situation. It's not going to be until the next CBA agreement, unfortunately, but how it can be used. The biggest complaint around the league right now are teams are saying, if you're not able to play game number 82, the last game of the season, how on earth are you able to play game one of the Stanley Cup playoffs because it only comes like two or three days after so if you cannot play the last game of the season game 82 you have no business playing game one of the finals of the playoffs excuse me so we'll have to see what that actually is going to mean and what that actually is going to look like when they do come to some kind of terms with the long-term ir situation at the beginning of the year everybody was going off on toronto about putting uh, their goaltender and, um, you know, Toronto had a bunch of guys, like everybody at some point, um, they were putting on long-term IR and people were going nuts about Toronto doing it. But people seemingly forgot about Vegas doing it to win the Stanley Cup. Tampa Bay Lightning doing it with Kucherov, where Kucherov was out an entire year and was healthy to come back for the last month, but they had no cup space. They had to wait for the playoffs. So when you have a couple of years of teams doing this and winning the Stanley Cup, it starts to make some noise, and I'm, I'm happy they're going to address it. It needs, it needs to happen. Uh, we, <laughs> we talked a little earlier. I made mention to John Tortorella. John Tortorella got told to leave. He was giving it to the officials, and the officials said, you're out of here. They threw him out of the game. And Tortorella stayed on the bench. He said, hey, I'm not leaving. I'm not going anywhere. It was a little bit of a delay, a little bit of a conversation. And uh, finally, Torts left the bench. And he officially has been suspended two games and fined $50,000 for temporarily refusing to leave the bench after being ejected. But he was standing his ground. And the Philadelphia Flyers governor and Comcast uh, Spectator CEO Dan Hilferty said that he will pay any fine that Tortorella gets from his ejection. He's proud of him for standing up for his team and doing the thing, and that this new era of Orange is having each other's backs. And last night, Tortorella had the backs of the team. So the CEO is proud to pay any fines that come his way. But, you know, this is happening more and more with the officials being as such a joke that they are. I think a couple chatting. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, right, Jonathan. We've seen this before. We've seen this where teams have stood up and said, hey, we'll pay for the fine. A lot of times, if you didn't know in warm-ups, when you go on the ice and you skate around for warm-ups, you have to wear a helmet. If you don't wear a helmet, you get fined for the league. And a lot of rookies, the whole tradition is when a rookie plays their first game, they, they do the rookie lap, right? They go around by themselves. And a lot of rookies have gone without wearing the helmets and the league or the teams agree to pay those fines because it's it's their moment. I wonder if Vegas made it back to the cup and wins back to back. The NHL might take away the cup. Uh, I don't think it would get that crazy, Nick, but it would be. I mean, if they do, I mean, there's going to be a lot of talk about this situation more than there is right now. There was a very interesting situation that took place the other night. Uh, in the Minnesota Wild game, in overtime, the Minnesota Wild pulled their goalie for an extra attacker to make it a four-on-three, and it worked. They had scored. 
Now there's an interesting rule, and you don't see that a lot. You do not see teams pulling their goalie uh, in overtime to try and get the win. Had they been scored on with the goalie pulled, they would have forfeited their already secured point. So what happens if you're tied at the end of the third period? Each team gets one point. You then go to overtime, shoot out, whatever it is. But if you win, the team that wins gets that extra point. But the losing team acquires one point. If you pull your goalie in overtime and it doesn't work and you get scored on and lose, they take that point away from you. So Minnesota going with the gamble because they're they're in the playoff hunt, right? Minnesota, St. Louis tied at 69 points. They're chasing Vegas at 75 and Nashville at 78. So Minnesota... Going for it, pulling the goalie in overtime, risking that point, and it worked out. That was pretty crazy. Um, Mr. Snow, they they were just they wanted the win. They needed that point. And uh it was pretty it was a big risk, but it worked. My rookie lap, I would be doing blue steel the whole time. <laughs> That's really funny. Um tonight, Rod Brindamore said it would be Jake Gunsel's debut, and he did make his debut tonight. So Jake Gunsel. Out there with the Carolina Hurricanes. It's a big deal. And then the story going around the league today. Forward Matt Rempe getting the chicken wing up on the New Jersey Devils. Siegenhaller. Uh, Siegenhaller going along the boards. Rempe coming in. It wasn't a charge because, you know, he took his strides and he glided in. But Siegenhaller slowing up. Seeing the big man Rempe all 6'7", 240 of them coming. Pulls up and Rempe, kind of a natural instinction, gets the elbow up. And Siegenheider slowed up enough and kind of turned his head for the most part to get out of the way. But the elbow just catches him, just grazes him, knocks him down. Didn't really knock him out, but he was definitely, definitely seeing some stars. If you haven't seen the clip yet, we have it on our channel. The short is posted. You can go and, and check it out. But Rempe had his... Um, his call with the league today it wasn't an in-person hearing. It was a phone call hearing. So phone call hearings have up to five games. If it's an in-person hearing, it could be five or more. And so he was awarded a four-game suspension. Rempe, for the elbow to the head, a four-game suspension. So a lot of questions, especially from Toronto fans, are saying, hey, isn't this worse than what Morgan Riley did? And why did Riley get five, but Rempe only gets four? So I'll tell you why. Uh, Vegas will not get the cup this year. Batman won't bet the league when it cup six. <laughs> Follow the Edmonton series. Refs had interesting, interesting mark. But this is why Morgan Riley got the extra game. The game was over, right? They scored in overtime. It was after the play. Nothing going on. Um, he came in with a cross check. He attacked him. He did not have the puck. All of these things. In this case, it was a hockey play going on. Uh, he came across to make the hit. The goaltender slowed up and he came with the elbow to the head. At least that is what they are going to justify it as. Um, in my opinion, watching this hit to watching the Morgan Riley's hit, this hit was way worse than what Morgan Riley did. Way worse. But it is what it is. Rempe gets four games. Riley, what's going on? You and me both. I really hope the Panthers come back and get here. Made it look like an accident. Um, I mean, this was crazy. And the worst part is, the worst part is McDermott wanted to fight Rempe. McDermott kind of chased him down earlier in the game. Rempe said no. Rempe's, uh, Laviolette kind of have Rempe on a non-fighting stretch right now. If you notice, even when he fought Reeves, he had to kind of look to the bench and get approval. Um, so Rempe, he does this, or he wouldn't fight earlier in the game. He then does this McDermott literally chasing Rempe around the ice. They would not put them together. They would not let them go. The referees immediately, um, get Rempe off the ice and Rempe in one of the most villainous things you can do in hockey. You've already taken a New Jersey devil player and rung his bell. Now you're skating away from his fighter, infuriating people even more. Rempe pulls a total heel move, puts his hand up and goes, bye, waves goodbye as he walks off the ice to kind of say, 
McDermott, I'm not going to be able to fight you. See you later. So it's going to be very interesting the next time these two teams get together, whenever it may be. If McDermott and Rempe get together, will they drop the gloves? Uh, Rempe is again. Yeah, Riley, he totally is. Not at home. What's going on? And, you know, the big, you know, the big debate with Rempe right now is he's not a good scare. He's not a great hockey player. All that jazz. We're here with the best players in the world. He's taken runs. You know, he took um, Bastide, uh, Batiste. I can never pronounce his name. He pulled this once against New Jersey already, running over one of their players. He left his feet in plastered Labushkin into the boards, and now he pulls this. Um, it, it's absolutely too much. Listen, is it exciting for New York fans? Yeah, New York fans are going crazy. Is it selling a ton of Rempe jerseys? It absolutely is. Um, but, like, he's going to really hurt somebody, and he's got to tone it down. We know when Chara came in the league, now, Char didn't take runs at people, but he had the same issue, right? He'd throw a hit and he'd get call for, for boarding or elbowing because he was so big. So this guy naturally is going to get penalties because he's so tall. He can't be taking runs at people. He's 6'7". He doesn't need to leave his feet. It's absolutely crazy. Second worst move in the snarky wave. So true. Uh, worst move you can pull in hockey is put some hot sauce in the jock strap. <laughs> Prep. That's hysterical. That is really, really funny. Gerard, what's going on, buddy? Good to see you. Welcome to the show. Uh, so as a Devils fan, I want to see where... So Nick, I was going to ask you, thank you for putting that in. I was going to ask what you would like to see, what your thought is. And there it is, 10 games. I mean, it's, it's absolutely crazy what he's doing so he'll sit out four games he'll come back and uh, i'm curious to see if this is going to tame him up or if he's going to continue making some of these moves now in a little bit of uh, more somber news if you will uh, the calgary flames have renounced the rights to drafted prospect topi roni effective immediately this was posted by the flames a couple of hours ago um they posted a statement that all it said, team statement, effective immediately, the Calgary Flames renounced the rights to unsigned draft pick Topi Roney. That's all they said. So upon a little review, Bon, all right, take care. Good to see ya. Upon review, apparently he was found guilty of a, um, I don't even want to say it, a very bad crime, let's just say, by a Finnish court today. He's received a one-year suspended sentence. The ruling has yet to be finalized. And so Calgary says, yep, we want nothing to do with him. So that's uh, unfortunate news, but Calgary doing the right thing. Uh, when Tyler Sagan gets back, yeah, Jason. I mean, Sagan, Sagan is one of those special players. And it's funny, right? Because how long, how long were we talking about Sagan and Kessel? after that trade was made and the potential that there could have been another trade to flip them again. Um, but Tyler Sagan, boy, oh boy. Um, you know, I, I'd say, <laughs> I'd say Dallas is missing him right now, but these, they're flying. They're clicking. They are just looking absolutely, absolutely wild. You're right. But Sagan, a, a very, very key part of this Dallas team. Um, one of the others, and let's see, can I bring it up here? I, I want to, I don't want to mess anything up here. So yeah, it won't work. All right. So we're done. Oh, see, just like I said, click the wrong thing. You close the wrong thing. Let's bring this back up here. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, I mean, say, say again, say again is a good, good player. Uh, okay, bear with me. Let me fix this. All right, let's go around the league real quick and give you an update on the scoreboard because the period is going to be starting after this commercial break. Uh, Pittsburgh and Sens tied at zeros. Rangers one nothing over the Hurricanes. 7-2 to two. now the D Buffalo Sabres over the Red Wings. Third period just starting. 3 nothing Canadians over the Blue Jackets. 2-2, Flyers and Sharks, 1-0, Wild over the Coyotes, 
one one blackhawks and ducks that is your out of town scoreboard all right let's go back oh look at gerard's getting in here throwing some pies you just got me i'm gonna have to clean clean the oh, wrong side gotta clean that hat off all right let's get set for some second period action we know it's going to be starting up let's go back over to the the screen all right we are ready to rumble let's see if the panthers can bring this one home can they get it back tie this one up again there is a slight delay between what we see on the widget up top and the actual broadcast when it starts gotta love technology right uh <laughs> gerard thank you my friend i appreciate that very very much thank you all for being here if you are just coming in make sure you hit that thumbs up welcome in and let us know let us know are you a panther fan are you a stars fan who are you rooting for in this hockey game wow it is very delayed getting back in here hurry up feed we want to see some second period we want to get this one back and going Because I'm excited and I hate waiting. The Devils are in Dallas on Thursday night. Oh, there. Nick wants to lay them more smack down. You say you're ready to rumble? <laughs> Drew standing by. All right, let's go. Period. Getting had started. A, had a chance against him in that opening period. Try to tell Drew I said, what's up? Final three seconds on the Verhage penalty expire as we are underway Even here in the strength. second period. Ten months, Dallas Gerard is over for two in. on the power play. One nothing, Charles. Pavelski. Thank you, Gerard. Got the That's goal right. plays Smash it around. Like Jason Robertson, who assisted on the goal, his 300th NHL point, and moved him to a seven-game point streak, matching his longest of the season. Forsling snaps it ahead. Here is Verhage. Shady, what's going on? Welcome in. Roger goes behind the net to cut it off. Past the stick of Bennett. And Pavelski avoids contact. Numbers again. Haskin in leading with Robertson shot. And Great another save. glove Bobrovsky. save. Yes. Bobrovsky picks up where he left off in the first. Well, it's another instance where they're, they're pinched. So Look, they, they pinch all the time. They bring their defense down the boards like that, but... You either have to get the man or get the puck. They got neither in the Stars defense activating. Haskin and up there on the rush. He had Robertson with him. I don't think that pass was ever available. Why not just wire one and see if you can beat Bob? <laughs> you guys so Stars control off the draw, but come out to center ice. Tanev will softly flip back in. Steele pursuing. He hit Mikula, and then more bodies come in. Marchman and Reinhardt dug out by the Panthers. Barkov, he gets shouldered off on the far side. Kicked along, Barkov laterally, then the drop pass in front, pinballs around, and off Ottinger kept out. Counterattack led by Matt Duchesne. So next his way through contact now towards the net. I, off his stick in the crease. Jake Allen and the stick of Bobrovsky. Pick. A very interesting pick. Shot in off the glass by Montour, who hustles to the bench to change. He can be good. For the opening faceoff back in the first period, there was just an outstanding score. pace to the hockey game. It never really dwindled I throughout the like 20 it, minutes. Opening two minutes here in the second period to follow suit. Stanley Cup champion. This is the type of game you don't want to have a lull in. See a couple of goals tacked on the board at center ice if you do. They are racing around here. By Losterine and hey, a get there, side of it. Pond, both men down the to the net. ice. Kept alive Oposo, the tip by Losterine and wide of the net. Kept by Oposo, the forward. Saved by Ottinger, comes out to Johnston. And he will send it the distance. That's icing against the Stars. Yeah, they're flying at one another here uh, again in the We're second again, period. The that, that chance for the top line they of Florida. They had two guys Absolutely right at the net. Incredible. How that didn't carry them all the way through is both Tarasenko and Reinhardt right. doesn't have a Let's shot in the Let's game reverse, yet. One in and reverse the cap. Duchesne, you know, gunning Let's get to get going off in the Schneid in the goal scoring on. department, drives yeah, to the see. net front. And Tarasenko met him oh, right in the puddle. Make sure he couldn't get all the way around Bobrovsky. 
Locker side of Andre. The Panthers win the draw. Forsling down the left side. Drops it back for Kachuk. He'll find Verhage. Turnaround shot was partially blocked. Kachuk is on it. And great stick position by Stankoven. Anticipating the pass. Broke it up. Then tosses it from center. Then steals it away from Ekman Larson. Who gets it right back? It's wrong, huh? Thank Smith you, Robin, I around. It. Ben was heading to change, tried to play. It was cut off though by Verhage. He misses Bennett on the cross ice outlet. He's gonna blew a tire. Still managed to one hand it along to Delandria, who's got Fox up. Contact and he goes hard from Ekman Larson into the sidewall. But eight the top of the boards there. He's going to keep it in those from the right Thank side. Right Walks side. to his left, a shot oh, off of nice kept alive, Acrobatic and a backhand to Landria chipped it up and oh, out of play in the wow. aftermath. Very frisky start to the second period for Miro Haskinen. He is so capricious. With two stars in his face. He changed the angle on a guy stop. with and then one he dip of the shoulder, rips to it toward right the net, as the depth deflection down, into that naughty right humanity. I think it was Radic Fox's quickly, stick and that redirected it down and into Bobrovsky. And very typical shot. All right, Mark, and, uh, take Matt care. Thank little you scramble so much. after. Delandria died a little bit. He was on his back end and lifted it up soon. over top of everything. Bobrovsky has gone 12 straight games into play here tonight, allowing two or fewer goals. 35-year-old, two-time Vezina, putting together a tremendous campaign, some outstanding numbers. He's got the best season goals against average of any number one netminder in the league. Played via high stick, and Panthers touch it next. Lumber and Lumber getting in there with a little lack after Going at Harley a little bit, and they have to be whistle. separated. Uh, it was Cousins first with a goofy shot after the whistle. Fans Victory Harley Club memberships presented by Lexus are officially Talking on sale for the 2024-25 season. You know, Panthers won't shut themselves down. If things get tough, they will up their intensity and keep it going. Memberships are available. Visit DallasStars.com slash victory and secure yours. Draw starts just outside the Dallas blue line. No video. You can just go ahead and unsubscribe now. <laughs> Quite frankly, <Ted> have, <laughs> we'd love for you to hang out and have some fun. But if you want to base your subscription on a team, you might as well just go. Let's reaches. Referee was right go there. lightning, Ryan. It's I can't wait to the line. Play. Referee got belted. Back down into that left corner. Sidesteps referee Corey Savret that time. Tanev Dallas working on around. the near side. Up top, then Lindell joins a slow <laughs> shot, but Borowski was able to control it. Hang Bobo's on. Bobo still there. Bobo looking Robertson solid. Trade stick jabs at each other's legs. Our Chipotle, real difference maker. A nice start in victory green for Chris Tanev. They haven't dropped a game since he stepped into the Stars lineup. It was a delayed arrival within the lineup because of immigration and a little bit of All right, Panthers. travel difficulties. It's time. Let's go. Look, he's, You're making he's the me type wait. Of who I'm getting impatient. Let's better. see this Panther and team pick it up. Freeze them up a little bit. I, I think Esso Lindell's going to blossom a little bit alongside. People forget <laughs> when Esso was in Finland prior to coming over, he was a lot like Miro Haskin, and he was an offensive Whatever defenseman. You do, yes, you defending. Go ahead, right ahead and do. He could add a lot to the attack, and I'm here he can do it in, in this hockey. league too. He has a they do play some decent tracks. You know, one thing. Kind of I know a lot a of these bit. buildings play the same music, Jones, but I feel the like point, if, if you ever go to games in Toronto, just wide. they play the Bell same tracks for the last five, ten years. It's they got to start playing some new tunes. The blue lines, Lindell there, braced for impact. Now it's ten. Yeah, he'll he has shoot it in from the center of the hands. Ulikov cancels there. Panthers going to tip it out. Here they come. Let's go. Fight this one too. Both tumble down. And innocently, it slides in on Andrew, who gets No the penalty. On for the Hauled whistle. down on a partial break. Get up thinking they're Tanev go taking him down right in front of the official. Strong free he lets it go. Chris nice Tanev. play by He's Mr. Really Ryan to tip that one through. And then Tanev in. gets the arm. Not only is he holding the arm, he falls and pulls the arm down. For a second as so you can call that what you want, but that definitely should have been a penalty. 
little races, right? This game feels like it's all about creating little races. No video. That's up a, in Florida or in Philadelphia. Chase. 31 combined shots in the game. 17 They're for really the Stars. Insane. 14 for the Panthers. Just one goal. You're There's friends with the audio guy. Okay. That's pretty cool. Makes that sick. Forsling's been redirected and went through the slot. <laughs> Tell the audio guy he needs some new tracks. By Goven, pursuing after it. Panthers have Chucks to get rid of that away from ben. I love it. I love it. You mean this one? Clear to center. You can see though, there's no oh, room for the no work. time with the puck. The stars are right on top. Miss <laughs> Harley back in love it. in Florida. Zone, finds Hayes getting. Must have been a good game. I love that. Forward for Stan Coven. Turning on Ekman Larson. Hit the brakes on the forehand. Back in position was Kachuk to steal it away. Bennett. Forsling wanted it. Got <laughs> oh, it boy. Shot it in. You know how long it took Forsling me to find that. That's year so cool. $46 million dollar extension. It's with not easy last to find. Week. The guy who four years He's ago. He's your cousin. The oh, that's cool. Here in the American Hockey League. Lord, I try to get this one around. So years ago, many, many years ago, I was starting a school radio station, and I did some work with the St. Michael's majors, so I got to spend some time up in the media boxes, and uh, I got to meet Jimmy Holmstrom, and we got to talk to him, tracks to use at the station, the nicest the guy ever, but uh, man, yeah, they need some new things. <laughs> I'm sorry. He leaves it. Montour shot. Montour, oh, the just far missed. Side, missed. Montour the with a nice play. Cutting off the lane <laughs> with Suter. He stays upright. <laughs> you had me, I believe it. Along the wall, Suter with possession around. And Kulikov spun, separated from the puck. Fox is able to clear. Becoming a little more physical here is that they can't race forever, right? They're gonna have to run into one another a little more. Battle deep in Dallas territory. Barkov plucks the loose puck. He's got Kulikov. Race shot, and that deflects off bodies in front. Panthers are getting Inside shots, but not zone. hard. Slip pass. Shots. Tarasenko is shot. He That's missed, and then it goes to the right corner. Peter. And Kulikov, nice keep of the point. Barkov. <laughs> Suter has him. Tarasenko as well. And Reinhardt stapled along the end glass. Lope hands. New contact was coming from Barkov. Stars reverse. Suter cleared past Forslund. Good heavy hard shift for Yanni Hockenbach. Nice play by Hintz. He got position. Got a whistle. We got a penalty. penalty. He used the speed to hop his way around Kulikov. And Rope hits. So again, this is Draws ridiculous. The Kulikov to the box. Stars to the power play. They give this to Kulikov. But the penalty on Listerinen is let go. Don't like that at all. But hey, that is how the officials manage these games. We're seeing it here firsthand right now. Where the Florida Panther hauls down this Dallas player. Kind of side of the net, behind the net. And Dallas gets the call. Florida... Breaking in, cutting towards the net. Hannafin, not Hannafin. Uh, who was it? My gosh. Now I forget who it was. Who was it? Tanev grabs the arm, hauls the Panther player down, and no call. So that we're seeing firsthand right now exactly what is going on, how these officials manage these games. <laughs> Ryan is all pumped up. Ryan knows. Ryan's like, yep, this is going to happen. This is going to happen on the power play. They're going to go up again. All right. No video. If, if you want to stay, be subscribed. If you don't want to stay, unsubscribe. But I ask you, please do not keep going back and forth, back and forth. But I hope that's not the case. I hope the Panthers will shut this one down. Will we see a short-handed goal coming up here? I really hope so. I really hope so. Imagine these rest have real lives to go back to. <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine, like, 
they go home to their family and their wife or their significant other gives it to them. I can't believe you missed this call. Don't you know what people are talking about? First period doesn't get it would the call. be absolutely was slashed by hysterical. Lomberg. I think he was. Sometimes the squeaky wheel gets the grease here in the second just moments ago. I don't know that it was hooking, but he gesticulated enough to draw the call. Maybe they remember back Kulikov's in the box. It's an innocent play. Just whip it out of the zone. His speed creates this power play opportunity. It's the third of the night for the Stars. They've got four shots through the first two. Ace get in. Brister was blocked wide. Jamie Ben gets to it, finds Haskinen, sent across to Hintz. Now Ben turns, shoots, save, rebound. Robertson score! Oh my goodness! Just they kept like that. And Jason Robertson. Oh. So like the Ryan. Power play Ryan. Ryan. They are not covering <laughs> the puck. They get possession and then they attack. Shot right away from the shot. They they oh forced the penalty goodness. kill to I chase can't a little bit. Believe they get them chasing that with puck just movement. Happened. Jake, what's going on? The there it is. Oh, so now I see Perfect what happened. Dallas goes to score. It and it looks like they put up the second mouse that They put the up cheese. another one right away. Here comes Jason Robertson with so those all of a sudden hits, here comes Jake. Home, here comes Road Warriors. And the stars have a little gap. <laughs> Welcome the in. Because of it. And they're gonna score another now one. Oh my goodness gracious. For what is happening Jason here? Gets his what is happening here? Of the year. That is his second point of the game. So he is back up to a season-long point per game pace, 67 in 67. <laughs> he leads the Stars team. Bobrovsky has it behind the net. Bobrovsky puts in the corner. Dallas Lusable. picks it up. Tip score from the wing. Shot. Through the bump line, they forced the turnover with what the hell are you doing? You know, this could be a problem. Marchman in behind the two youngsters. I'm I'm at Ryan a loss breaks to the for net. words. They marry up this right turnover now. into a rip toward the net. <laughs> it's definitely a redirection. Got a it's a <laughs> redirection oh, against the green. My. In the last couple of months, no Dallas Stars scored more goals than Wyatt Johnston. His 14th in that span. On Saturday night in LA, they turned tight. the game upside down. Two oh. goals in 18 seconds to turn a deficit to a lead. Here they turn a one goal lead to a three goal lead. Looking for more. Forehand kept out Bobrovsky somehow. Duchesne on the doorstep. They almost made it three in less than a minute's time. They just cannot handle the Stars' puck pressure tonight. And it's Two Jamie goals, Ben. 20, Jamie Ben with another power apart. play goal. Robertson His streak first, continues. Johnston. I think this is five Wyatt straight Johnston's games got of his power play goal. Gold matching what he had last year as a rookie to tie all NHL rookies. Offside at the blue line and the stars. Oh my have gosh! I can't even play. type. Yeah, a little rupture in the the group in front of Sergei Bobrovsky who held it in when they picks up broke his. down. Oh, they've the changed the goal. Period, but the they've taken it away. Bam, bam, and they from Ben, they've given it to Robertson. One. Again, four the streak does not continue. This time Duchesne all over so the goal has just been changed zone, from Ben into another to Robertson. Scoring that was the first goal. Talked about that dozen then it's Johnston was on, getting his 24. More than two goals in any time. The Stars from get Marchman. to three and do it in less than half of regulation. First time since January 19th versus Minnesota. The Bobrovsky gave up four goals in 30 minutes. Big it up. Oh, five boy. Six Come on, Panthers. Right Let's go. Yeah, he's still around. through it all. Has been a highlight. <laughs> he's turning it inside out. <laughs> shot by Kulikov. He was in the box for the first of the I two. I can't have my first full game wearing it be a loss. Of play. Yeah, it came in first in the NHL in goals against, third in wins, fourth in save percentage. Oh, you're having boy. a good season when you're into March with those rankings. 
There you Doesn't go. Prep says, let's get some, a wave going. Let's some turn this one around. From the guys in front. You haven't been here. You don't know what and that it, virtual uh, wave is. All you got to do is put your it's hands always, up and breathe. Almost comical. It's like, Two, you're going to probably have to one. open it up a little bit. I don't know hey. how much more open get them up, the get them up. can get. They, they, they've opened their back door a lot tonight. <laughs> right off the draw, blast kicked out by Andre, who's been perfect on everything that's come his way, denying that Montour bid. Dance across the blue line, cut to the slot, fought off, but Brodsky didn't know where it was, he had it in front of him, spotted goodness. in the nick of time to cover. I mean, the, the, the pace is uh, No video, here. only just channel members over the have access to the custom line. emoji. This, this tricky shot from the dead slot so you can just check out our membership pages, join our, Rope become a channel member, and then you'll have access motion. to all Every the emojis here play. tonight. Breakaway they know how I felt with it, right, Jonathan? John, you you were brave. You, I give you credit. You, you left it off, helping them get back and win. I don't think I have the power to do that. Twenty-seven point seven per game, and the Stars are at twenty-one at the halfway point. Dallas has just answered the charge of what this game was billed as. Robertson dropping all the logos. Turned over. Panthers had a golden opportunity up. and right the number stream. two goal scorer in the league just had it go right off the Three stick. Three nothing. Jammed him. I never would have guessed this to be the case. Pavelski chips it in on the back end. Mikola. The outlet deflected to no icing. And Andrew for 10 F. Quickly bumped out Stankoven. A lot of space for Esselindel. Chugs ahead. Caught by Stenland. And one back and neutralized by the Stars. Bends softly in. Stankoven drives Ekman Larson into the end wall. They cancel out. Johnston digging for it as well. Benev hit by Lombard. Kept alive by Ben. In the trapezoid. Stankoven fighting for it. The back-to-back -back goal announcements from Jeff K here inside the building for the two goals less than half a minute apart. I appreciate you Robertson coming and hanging around. From Pavelski and Robin, Dan. that would be awesome. We're and getting Justin so close. From Marchman. Around the glass. Sent all the way down. It's a race for it. It's a race for it. Board their first big collision after the whistle. Refs jumping right in there. Panthers don't like that as Mason Marchman racing in to try and get the icing. Can't beat out the Panther player. Josh Mara. The whistle goes and Marchman kind of throws a hit. Mara's laughing at Marchman. These guys were both racing in real, real hard. There, I mean, there was no way to pull up and not have that collision. The low center to the wing and bam. They're gone with the weak side defenseman up the ice. The Stars are so nothing winning more is the gonna battle of four checks here tonight. But the Stars so going to take a penalty box. of it. Nothing Panthers the on call. the power Peter play. Moore's club will be shorthanded when we come back, but up three love. Let's see if Florida can strike and put one in. This is where they need one. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'll, I'll pass. <laughs> Thank you. No president, no prime minister, <laughs> not even a mayor or governor. <laughs> too too much stress for me. <laughs> oh gosh, I mean, you guys have me in so many positions. Uh, how many team general manager positions <laughs> do I hold at this point? You guys always make me laugh. Thank you for coming in and hanging out today. Yeah, it's gonna take it's gonna take a while to build up for these other teams. It's been a long time since we've done them. So the algorithm is gonna take some time to get acquainted and get us pushed out. Part of the other issue, I don't know if you're all from Canada or not from Canada, but uh Canada decided to be a little mean to us Canadian creators. Prep coming in with the gifted membership. Prep, thank you so much. Stick taps for prep and no stranger to danger picking up that membership prep. Thank you so much. Um, in Canada, they passed a bill without getting too political. They passed a bill that essentially limits how the algorithm can share out your content outside of Canada. 
So anytime we do something that is primarily focused outside of Canada, it's, it's going to take a long time to build it up. That's why we're starting now. So we, uh, we get our Panther crowd back in here and going. We'll be back with the Leafs on Thursday night. Can't wait for that game. That's going to be a hard hit and physical game. I think it's the Leafs and the Flyers, if I'm not mistaken. It's going to be a lot of fun. Here we go. Oh, let's bring this up. Two last year, that was the second most all time in a single season. And Reinhardt's just about on that pace. All chasing Tim Kerr and 34 <laughs> power play goals <laughs> in Mark 1986. I thought Leon was going to get him last year. Behind the Reinhardt. net. Reinhardt banks it. Panther is part on Barkov's shot. No rebound absorbed and hung on to by Ottinger with a buck 10 left on the power play. Really it's good work by Some these penalty killers. Shot. The yeah, two guys on, crazy. on defense. Lindell they put it in effect, actually to, came in to uh, his advantage. You'd have to play off. They'll take year. that shot um, forever. It, it's it's kind of. Uh, little wrister from the top it's of the circle cool, right into the but, guts you know, the of, idea, of you remember in the Canadian Face news, off in the Dallas push. zone. And ben Again, what other countries to pay for the Canadian contest. Hustles to it well, didn't go on the so backhand. Well. He's able to clear. So it's, uh, Tanev didn't kill penalties in his debut. He's not able to clear. Tanev didn't kill but penalties hey, in his debut. So we appreciate you guys supporting our channel and helping get the word out and around. JJ, what's going on? Welcome in. Oh, looks like we got our feed is buffering here. Don't buffer. All right, let's pull an audible here. If they're going to buffer, we're going to switch this up a little bit. Against a really good hockey team, you just have to take it one at a time. There's still plenty of time to work with in the game. So getting it back to 3-1 on that power play. That was the first step. So now the Panthers back to within a pair, and, and suddenly course, it doesn't look goal, like so it's daunting of a task here ahead of the Panthers. And on the end wall, it's going to be handled by Marchment. He rolls it into the near circle, picked up by Luis Durin, and back along go the Panthers. A pass across a post, so is able to poke it down to our left, deep into the Dallas zone. On the end wall, Haskin it. Far side, Harley. Oposo poked it away. Loose back in behind the net. Penalty coming here against the Panthers. Head to the Wilster wow. Reached out with the stick. Wasn't his intention. He was trying to poke that puck away, but he took down Haskin in. Come on, Panthers. 6-17 left in the second. 3-1 stars. Dallas back to the power play. All right, let's update. Florida Get penalty number 27. Two-minute minor for tripping. Well, I'm getting a chance to see it on the replay up here in the booth. Wilster was down after a collision with Haskin and I have a hard time believing that that kind of contact took a skater as strong as Haskin and down to the ice cleanly but that's what they saw and in the officials defense Etu did reach out there with the stick he did make a little bit of contact with Haskin and when they see that usually it's gonna work against <laughs> JJ. the player in Luos Torinen's position there and the Panthers are going down a man. That's going to be called probably more often than not. All right. So the so Panthers Sam just Reinhardt, got it back to within goal. two with a power Barkoff play goal. Barkov and Kachuk getting the assist. Barkov's 48th assist. Going to have to Kachuk's kill off this Dallas second power assist. play here. And it was on Reinhardt's 46th Hints. goal it. Dallas controls year. Robertson. Out to the line. Haskin it. Left side. Hints down low. Pavelski. Hints top of the far circle. He'll hold it out at the far point. Good pressure from Ekman Larson. Knocked the puck away. Forced the Stars back into the neutral zone. They work it in. Haskinen to Hintz past the defense. A shot and a stick save is made by Bobrovsky. Now to the far corner. It's Gus Forsling to rattle one along all the way down to our left. That'll eat up some time here. 131 left in the Dallas power play as Haskinen walks it along left to right across your radio. It's dropped back. Here's Pavelski. Pavelski to center ice. Off to the near side, chipped along Robertson in front. Pavelski looking for Duchesne, yes, and that hops that away. Penalty. Here's Anton I mean, Lundell into the offensive end. Lundell near circle, he shot it to flag. That so was, a Dallas stick up and out of play. That was a terrible call from the fish. I, I don't even know how to So 529 will remain here in the second period. Play. 
Um, three one. It's the <laughs> he stars of threw in front his, of the Panthers. Stick out. It banged off the Dallas shin pad on the power play for another Hiskinen one minute twelve seconds. Of face off coming inside the there. Dallas I mean, zone down to our terrible. left. Like it's on Lundell will take the face off here against Wyatt Johnston who has the most recent Dallas Stars goal in this game. That was his 24th. Off the face off the Stars have it the Panthers goal by the way it's Reinhardt's 46th from Barkov and Kachuk. At 12.52 on the power play here in the second. Stank Owen down here to the near corner. Stars back into the Panthers zone. Now across Stank yes, Owen. Oh, hardly a shot. That's blocked. Bottom of the circle. Marchman. He'll bounce it out to the front of the net. Stenland <laughs> able to yeah. intercept. And he clears all the way down to our left. 52nd assist of the season for Matthew Kachuk. That's a team leading total. Barkov right behind him with his 48 helpers. Picked up his 48th on that Reinhardt goal. Now through center ice goes Matthew Shane. Left side for the Stars, Marchman. Works deep into the Panthers' in. Lobs one out to the line. Harley across right point, Stankoven. Straight on to the line, Harley. Off to the left side, Marchman. Harley again. Over for Marchman. Left side has it on the boards. Harley up top. Back to Marchman. Across top of the near circle, Stankoven. Looking back door. Couldn't connect with Johnston. A stick in the lane from Ekman Larson. Popped it out of play. Marchman, a late hit on Ekman Larson. And Oliver Ekman Larson's had enough. He just gave him a couple of jabs. That's, I love the And Marchman. You're into a play, you're detailed conversation here with Oliver you're and Larson. Happen. You've got to, as a Panther player, and that bump came. they're jabbing at you. You've got to fight back. After the puck had gone out of play, it looked like Marchman may have just gotten a little bit of a warning from one of our referees. There's an animated conversation between Francis Chiron, one of our referees, and Mason Marchman. May have said something to the effect of, you're already penalized once in this period for a been a late contact did it again can't imagine they want to see much more of that from Mason Marchman he nodded in agreement I'm only piecing it together based on what it looked like from up here 431 left in the second 3-1 it's the stars in front of the Panthers and 14 seconds will remain on the Etu Luost Arena penalties the Panthers almost back to full strength here off the face-off win, and here's Ekman Harley, Larson Harley to send one all the way down. down to our left. So that will take us to the yeah, end of the Dallas hungry. power play. Wolsterinen on his feet, ready to hop out of the box. Pass near side, Pavelski in for Dallas. Looks to Hintz. Hintz near circle, and he had it knocked away. Near side, Robertson tried to center. Bottle up by Forsling. Handed on to Wolsterinen. He'll cut up the right side. Harley stumbles back to his feet. A shot to Wolsterinen, who crosses in. Top of the right circle, and that's guided away by the goal stick of Ottinger. Here on the near side, Robertson. Long stretch pass for Hintz. And he was offside when he received that. He knew that was going to get whistled right away. 3.57 to go here in the second. 3-1 stars. We'll step aside, bring it back for more here in just a minute. All right, Panthers, you know, they're kind of slowing things down here a little bit. They got to pick it back up. I like the, you know, the little bit of physicality they're trying to show when being pushed around. Ekman Larson giving some shoves there. But the problem really, and the a big issue in this game right now is the face-offs. It was even 50-50 going into this period. BCHL, what's going on? Welcome in. It's right now 60.5% for the Stars. They've run away in the face-off circle. Florida has not been very good in that uh, in the face-off circle. One for four on the power play compared to one for two for the Panthers. The hitting, though, is in the favor of the Panthers. They continue to throw some good hits. But right now, Dallas is totally controlling this hockey game. They are not allowing the Panthers back into it. I'm actually a little a little caught off guard. I'm not going to lie. Panthers not playing up to snuff. They got to get it going. Do you remember the animal crackers they used to have at McDonald's? Those McDonald's kind of animal crackers? Oh, oh, they were so good. And now I want animal crackers. But they, they didn't call them crackers. They were animal cookies. They were delicious. All right, one thing we're waiting for, we're waiting for this game to even out. I mean, it's been all Dallas Stars. Dallas and Florida, two of the top teams in this league, so no surprise this game was going to be as good as it has been in terms of pace of play, moving the puck, quality of shots, all of that stuff. But right now it's Dallas in firm control. <laughs> Dallas, I'm not controlling 
That's funny. All right, they're just coming back. Let's see how the Panthers going to figure out to turn the this Panthers, around. though, have the most recent goal in this game, a power play tally from Sam Reinhart. His 46 goals, 77 points. Tom Cat will lead the Panthers on? this season. That gives him two goals in two games right, against Dallas awesome. this season as well. He scored in the Panthers' December 6th home win over the Stars. As the puck played up that far side by Montour <laughs> to flex right. out of play. 3.51 to go here in the second. 3-1. It's the Dallas Stars out in front of the Panthers here. <laughs> and a face-off upcoming in the neutral zone. I did, BCHL. Here's I Sam did. Beck. I actually have a, He's in against a Fox, streak uh, who going on back. right now. Tanev near side for the Stars. He'll flip it inside. Streak. The Panthers zoned down to a right. On. Into the corner. Bennett today. around far side. Montour. I need up the board. Put me. it up the wall. That was held nice. in by Craig Smith. Well. Bent down and around. Tanev racing in near side. Keeps it deep. And the Panthers zoned down to a right. Nico Mikla tied up here in the near corner by Delandria. Loose puck. It's going to be handled. Back by the net. Foxa rips it to the side of the goal. Montour in to cancel him out quickly. And the Panthers bust out of the zone. Three on two. Smith gets back, making it a Three on three. Play down near corner for Hagee. Hands to Bennett. Play down behind the net on a bounce. Kachuk in the trap is good behind Ottinger. Walks inside of the net. Jam it away. Loose puck. Ottinger a stick save. Verhage far circle with it. He'll hold it there. Verhage to the end boards then. He shoved on the end wall. The puck gathered in by Craig Smith. Played out to the far point. Montour there for the Panthers. He'll flip it along down to the far corner where it's handled by Sam Bennett. Bennett looking out front to Landria. Intercepted. He'll send it high in the air. This one goes all the way down to our right into the Panthers zone. An icing call against Dallas. 2.47 to play here in the second period. A 3-1 Dallas lead. And BCHL take a look at my picks. Here. My other two picks were Capo Caco and Brady Shea. Neither of them go got a point as it was a 1-0 win for the Rangers over Carolina. So Barkov is my Barkov only hope to make it a 4 Game wins four the day so wins Tarasenko, one hand well, let's go Barkov. Forsling hammers it down and around the inboards far side. Tie up over along the far wall. And this one is fought for over on that far side of the ice. Tarasenko in there against Delandria. They battle Barkov into support as well. As the Panthers try to keep this one the offensive end. Tarasenko looking out front. Barkov looking for Reinhardt then. That one looked like it may have gone off the stick of Ottinger. And out come the Dallas Stars. But Tarasenko holds it in. Here's Barkov. Barkov along the near side. Gives to Reinhardt. One time drive. Borsling. It's kicked away by Ottinger. Far boards. Ekman Larson. And Tarasenko out to the line. Forsling holds. Walks the blue line. Gives over to Tarasenko. The puck was on its side. It bounced away from him. Fox up. Able to clear. Forsling keeps in front of him. Gives to Ekman Larson near side of the ice. Oliver Ekman Larson plays it in. Around the end boards on a carom. Over to the far corner then. It's Luos Dorinen. And he's dumped over in the far corner. Essa Lindell for the Stars will clear. This one goes off somebody over on the Panthers bench. 145 to go in the second. 3-1. It's the Stars out front of the Panthers. Well, Kyle Oposo on the ice here. He's been playing tonight with Anton Lindell. And Ed to the Wost Arena. And Oposo, 1,045 games entering tonight. 242 goals like in his career, taken seventh overall back in 06 Harris by the Islanders. He's only played for the Islanders and the Sabres. Spent the last eight seasons in Buffalo. Come on, Panthers. And Paul Maurice said pregame. Remember, he wasn't going to evaluate much in this one for Oposo. Just wanted him to get in there, get comfortable. Enjoy his new team. Yeah, his they new did. Group. They just pulled it out. One he's a total nothing. pro. You know he's going to slide in well. Has a high hockey IQ. As Kulikov from center looks to dump it in. And Fox stopped up the Dallas the line. For the Rangers. Ben now, far side of the ice. He'll guide one down to our right. Back by the net, Bobrovsky hands it for Josh Mahura behind the goal, and now in against him is Wyatt Johnston. A pile of back behind the net. Puck scores off the far corner. The puck scores there. He's bumped. The Stars keep control. Long shot from the line, and that one deflecting wide from Ryan Suter. Here on the near side, Johnston holding it deep inside the Panthers zone. Johnston here on the near side, looking for Hockenpah. Edson Wolstering in the way, but can't handle it to get the clear. Oposo now finds it, gives to Luostarin, and he'll get it out. And from center, it's driven back in by Hockenpah, who took a lick from Oposo. The big 6'7 defenseman was knocked over. Now the Panthers backed into their own end. Kulikov dodged a check from Marchman, played it across, and the puck goes into the neutral zone, sent back in by Steele for the Stars. 
far corner, collected by Kulikov. Marshman in against him again, over on that far side of the ice. Over to help out for the Panthers, Anton Lundell backhands out of the zone. It's sent back down low. No, that didn't leave the zone, so we play on inside the Panthers' end as the Stars control. Steele out to the line, long shot Harley, and that's gloved by Bobrovsky. With 17.2 seconds left here in the second, a 3-1 Dallas lead. Over the Panthers, but again the Panthers doing what they had to do and that was get on the board here in this second period And we now the key is just going to be making sure so that likes. This is as difficult as it'll be going into the third today. period down 3-1 You certainly don't want to give up a prime scoring chance here late in the second off the faceoff win as Stenlin got it back Montour will clear to center Nick Cousins flings it in down to our left and into the final 10 seconds here in the second period. It's Ottinger off to the far side. Stenlin kept it in. Tried a shot from a sharp angle that was blocked. Cousins has it. Time running down. Up the line. A drive. But the horn sounds as Ottinger reels in that long distance try from Montour. 40 minutes down. And the Panthers trail by a pair here in Dallas. That's it's 3-1 do it. stars number two is for two in periods the of play. Bucks. Let's so gonna... get things moved over and let's let's figure out what is going on. There we go. All right. You'll see here 23 shots to 21 for the Stars. 28 hits for Florida, 22 for the Panthers. 25 faceoffs to 18. That is a big number. Of course, one for four on the power play. Dallas is one for two. Florida is 11 giveaways. Dallas and Florida has not made them pay. Five giveaways for the Panthers. You see in the block shots, eight for the Stars, seven for the Panthers. So, for the most part, statistically, it is a very, very close matchup. Very close matchup. Very close matchup. Panthers did get on the board. Your goal scorers are in this period. Jason Robertson picking up his 20. Walski and Jamie Ben. Wyatt Johnston is 24th from Marchment. And that's it. Sammy Reinhardt on the power play. His 46 of the year from Barkoff and to Chuck. So those are your goal scores. But Panthers have a long way to come back in this hockey game, but it's still possible. It's only two goals, and Florida is one of the teams that have scored the most goals in this NHL season. Uh, just current shows instead of the final games. Uh, the the current scores. I can't. I don't think I, I can try scrolling it at. Let's see if I can scroll it across for you. Let's see. Let's see if I can do this. There you go. Oh, oh I went over too far. I can't go back. Come on. Let's. <laughs> I can't click the back arrow. Let me, uh, let's refresh it and see if I can click it over once. There we go. We'll leave it right here for you. All right. So let's. Uh... Oops. Let's. Come on. There we go. Okay, let's lock that in. <laughs> All right, there you go. Sorry, I took uh, trying to get there. So what are these Florida Panthers going to do? How are they going to get back in here? They know how to score. They obviously score in bunches. But right now, they got to play more of a team game. Dallas is beating them with speed. Dallas is beating them to the punch. No stranger to danger. What's going on? No. No, we're still waiting for Matthews. Still waiting for Matthews. Um, but this Florida Panther team is having some trouble, and it's kind of the, the top two lines that have, I hate to say, been problematic, but they've been problematic. Um, Bennett has three shots. Reinhardt has two. Barkov has two. Tuchuk has two, but they're all a minus one. Um, 
So that that's not a good sign. Their defense hasn't been great. You know, their defense hasn't been great. Their top guys, Kulikov, 10 and a half minutes. Mara, 7, uh, 722. He's been on the ice. Um, Forsling, 16 and a half minutes. Ekman Larson, 15 minutes. Montour, 14 minutes. But they just haven't been good. <laughs> and that's the problem. Uh, why do you want the Panthers to win? We want them to lose. Give the, at least a chance to win the division. I want them to win because they're one of my favorite teams. And the Leafs, if the Leafs put themselves in a position where they're not really in striking distance, um, can't do anything about it. But I'm not going to not cheer for, for my team. Toronto has a long way to go. Toronto's not going to catch them. Florida is way, way, way too good. Way too good. So um, Panthers, they're going to come in here. They're going to win a whole lot of hockey games still to go. And uh, right now, Panthers have to find their game. They're they're struggling, and it's very not like them. But again, Dallas, one of the best teams in the league as well, and they're having no problems with this team. White trash guy, what's going on? I thought Florida traded for weaker and started playing typical Maurice no shooting hockey. They're shooting well. They're it's just you know their defense hasn't been good. The couple of the goals Bobrovsky has let in were not good goals. Not typical Bobrovsky. I'm very, very surprised to see um, how that goal went in. And it's it's disappointing to see Bobo let in a couple of weak goals like that. But these Panthers know how to play, right? Again, the last time these guys met, um, it was a shootout. It was an absolute shootout, 5-4. Florida took Dallas. So Dallas, they're coming back. Prep with the $5 Super Chat when the Panthers don't make the playoffs instead of golfing. Do they just hang out in sand traps? Oh, Prep, that is hysterical. <laughs> no, they hang out in the rough. They hang out in the rough. <laughs> By the water feature. That's really funny. Um, <laughs> JJ, I don't know what you are saying, my friend. <laughs> But my goodness. Um, yeah, Panthers are going to come back, no doubt about it. Of course, they have two uh, big injuries that are definitely having an impact in this game. Um, you know, first is, is uh, of course, Aaron Ekblad. Ekblad, uh, he kind of went down. I think he's only out for a couple of weeks, if I'm not mistaken. But that is a huge loss. I mean, Ekblad is their defensive core. Um, the good news is he'll be rested up and ready to go um, in a couple of weeks. And the other one is Evan Rodriguez. Rodriguez is kind of that gritty forward who um, he plays a pivotal role. So two big injuries for for this team, not to take anything away from Dallas, because, of course, Dallas missing Sagan is a pretty darn big injury as well from, from their standpoint. So both teams missing some impact players that I would say would, would change – how this game is being played. One thing we didn't say it earlier, the referees today, Francis, Sharon, and Corey Servette, the linesman, CJ Murray, and Ben O'Quinn. Um, the refereeing has not been very good. All right, later, JJ. Um, it, they have not been good. I just need to eating a cookie some milk. Uh, oh, Peter, my gosh. No, Gator, we have not won yet. We have not won yet. Um, it's a struggle. It's a struggle when your team, when you're not performing the way these Panthers normally do. Um, it's frustrating. But again, Dallas is that good. And if you're wondering, they're like, why are you so high on Florida and you're kind of iffy on on Dallas? I'll I'll tell you why, and I'll make I'll make it real easy. Here here's my supporting case. In 65 games. This season, Florida has 44 wins. They have 92 points. They've scored 217 goals. They've only let in 153. Right? Their home and road record pretty even. 21 wins at home, 23 on the road. Dallas Stars, 66 games played, 89 points. They've scored 242 goals. They've given up 199. So Dallas, is, Dallas has actually scored more goals than the Panthers, but they've given up more goals as well. 
at home, they, they are 19 wins on the road. They are 21. Florida Panthers right now, they've kind of four of their last five wins. They did lose to Philly uh, last week. Dallas right now is five for five. So they're, they're a pretty good team. Again, they're second only to Vancouver and Florida. So when we look at um, the league as a whole, right, as an NHL as a whole, the Dallas Stars are third in the NHL, right? Florida Panthers, number one. Uh, the answer is yes, your head does look smaller in a red hat. <laughs> really? Here, should we do? Okay, let's do this. Ready? Let's we'll put it this way. Put it forwards. Big. Small. Is it really making a difference? Do you see the difference? <laughs> Magic. That's really funny, Prep. Um, thoughts on Devils facing the Sabres in the Global Series? So, yeah, announced today. I, I thank you for bringing that up, Nick, because I did not, um, I did not actually talk about that. They did announce the Global Series, and it's pretty. It's pretty cool, right? Um, let me bring it up so I, I get this correct because it was just announced and I don't want to get any of the information wrong. So the regular season next year is going to begin in Prague, October 4th and 5th with the Panthers and Stars. Uh, and then, what? They're moving around. Okay, hang on. I got to read this. <laughs> They're essentially playing Finland, Czech. There he goes. Prague in Czechia. Uh, the NHL players on Tuesday. Okay, so the Buffalo Sabres and New Jersey Devils are playing at the O2 Arena in Prague on October 4th and 5th, followed by the Panthers playing the Stars in Finland on the 1st and 2nd. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's pretty neat. I don't mind these global series games. I don't mind them at all. I think it's cool that they kind of expand, you know, the hockey universe, the NHL universe. My problem is how they come back into the league. Craig, how's it going? How well do the Panthers do in the second and third periods? Um, third periods are okay. They've definitely um, – they've. They've definitely had some struggles. Um, they've definitely had some struggles. And you know what? Just uh, you can execute 66 that one, uh, JDA. Uh, you know what? I'll do it. Anyway, sorry, Craig. Um, <laughs> Third periods, yeah, they they need to get in and they gotta they gotta get in and play. And they they traditionally do all right. You know, they traditionally do all right. Let me see if I can get some solid solid numbers to to prove that. Because uh me just saying they do all right <laughs> isn't a lot to go off of. Let me see if I can find someone that has has these um Third period. I don't know if I could find it on the fly. Does this have, can I break this down by third period? No, of course not. Cause why? All right. So I can't find it, but yeah, they're, they're a good team. Listen, they're an all around really good team and they, they can make stuff happen. Um, and they need to, right? Again, they're missing a couple key players here. They're, they're having they're having some issues, but they'll they'll figure this one out. Um, here's a couple stats I didn't mention this earlier. Wyatt Johnson recorded his fiftieth point of the season and joined Brian Bellows, Mike Madonna, and Glenn Sharpley as the only players in Stars North Stars history to reach the fifty point mark in a season at the age of twenty or younger. So that's pretty amazing. Twenty or younger, just insane. Uh, he also recorded his 17th career multi-point game and surpassed Tom McCarthy for fourth by Stars North Stars player 
before the age of 21. And he only behind Brian Bellows, Mike Madonna, and Dave Archibald. So Wyatt Johnson continuing to do some good things for these Dallas Stars and getting his name in the record books at certain places. So I like that. Uh, I like that a lot. Uh, I only like watching the Leafs. Peter, th- listen, Leafs. Leafs are a, f- a fun team, but a stressful team to watch. Florida is usually, <laughs> usually a lot more even, Steven, if you will, a lot more reliable. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm here tonight. They're not coming through, but uh, yikes, Brian Bellows. Yeah, Brian Bellows is going way back. I mean, that was when hockey was hockey, right? That was when hockey was hockey. Absolutely love, love, love um, that period of time when the game was a game. None of this yelling at the refs and all kinds of, I mean, there was yelling at the refs, but no game management, no, you know, instant replay and none of that. It was hockey was hockey. And what wasn't enforced by the official was enforced by the players and done the right way. Uh, let's see here. So while he's here, let me say it. Our good friend, Jordan, Jordan's Disney adventures is closing in on a 500 subscriber milestone. So if you're not already subscribed to JDA, Jordan's Disney adventures, go on over, check out his content, give him a subscribe. Uh, he does a lot of Disney cruising content, cruising in general. Uh, oh, I just knocked a whole bunch of things over. Um, <laughs> he does some cool stuff. So if you're a cruising person, you like Disney cruises, go check him out. Jordan's Disney Adventures and help him get to that 500 subscriber milestone. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. I appreciate it. Listen, I'm I'm glad. I know we got some people who just like to come and hang out and have some fun, um, kind of shoot the stuff, if you know what I mean, during these games. So we really, really appreciate it. Um, it's all about community, and that's that's what we're building here, and we're we're working our way through to try and build up some of these other teams because playoff time. It's going to be a lot of fun, and we're going to be covering a lot. Uh, so we want to start. You know, getting people to uh, to find us and, and join us in our adventures, our hockey adventures. So the period, the intermission is just about up. We're going to be coming back real, real soon. And come on, will the Panthers come back? It's only two goals. They have not been able to muster much of an offense at all. Dallas has been in the right positions. They're doing the right things. Um, and gosh, it's tough. Leafs are in third place. They are in the in the Eastern Conference, in the Eastern or well, fifth place in the Eastern Conference. They're right there. They're third place when you look at the kind of divisional breakdown and third place in their division. They're well up on Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay is going to have to start winning some hockey games, Ryan, to catch them and make it interesting. Um, but you know, Tampa and Detroit starting to struggle a little bit detroit has lost five in a row which is crazy because they i thought they were they were pretty hot before there the islanders are coming up making a push for it you gotta watch out for them new jersey of course thinking they have a chance to to get in here it's gonna be it's gonna be a good stretch it's gonna be a lot of fun (laughs) and destroying his desk i do that often (laughs) i i do that often Okay, let's get going. I know you're just playing along. Uh, I'm going to the Devil Penguin game Tuesday night. I have a Heischer Brodeur and Hugh Jersey. Which should I wear? Oh, Nick, that's a tough call. I mean, Marty is classic, right? Marty is classic. But you can't go wrong there. Um, I would take Hughes over Heischer, but I think Marty is the way to go. You got to go classic. All right, time to get this game back underway. Third period coming up. Come on, Panthers. Let's do it, please. We got the the new Panther cap on. We're set to go. We've we've done all we can do to change things around. Now it's time for these Panthers to get going. And let's give them that call. Let's turn up the sound first. Come on, Panthers. 
Here we go. Third Green period. right to left. The Stars, winners of five straight. The Panthers coming off a victory on Saturday, trying to start a new win streak. As the puck shoveled along by Jamie Benn out to center, handled by Sam Bennett. Whacked along down to our right back inside the Dallas zone. Harley back behind Patrick the net. What's going on? He'll maneuver man. ahead for Dallas. Brings it off to the near circle. On for Ben. Guides it along. Intercepted. Back come the Panthers on a quick transition in. A shot from Kachuk. And a save made by Ottinger as Haskinen got back against Kachuk to put on a little bit of pressure. Montour was the one who started that rush up the ice. And now we've got a penalty upcoming. Some contact along the end boards down to our right with 37 seconds gone by here in the third. 3-1 is the really? Stars lead. It looks Verhage, like it's going to be really? Carter Verhage taking a seat. Again? And he doesn't like the call. Get the announcement here. Florida penalty number 23. Two-minute minor for cross-checking. Cross-checking called against Carter Verhage. So he goes off, and this is a critical penalty Carter, kill now for the don't Panthers. Don't make me take your jersey off. Who do not want to go don't make me back pull down by a trio here in the off. third. Come on, Brahegi. Better than that. Panthers have weathered some storms in this game. And to be within two going into the third period, it's doable. It's possible to be able to dig out of this one, no doubt about that. But it's imperative to get a successful penalty kill here. Puck played down to our right into the Dallas zone. And it's going to be handled by Haskinen. Panthers left to right, Dallas right to left. They bring it along. It's fed across. Pavelski gives to Hintz. He's got some speed near side. Ben looks to hand it across. Pass to flex away as the Dallas captain was trying to spot. Looked like Pavelski. Now back in goes Robertson. Dumps it down to our left. Out of the end wall. Hintz there. Hintz looking back for oh Robertson. My God. Bounced away. So the Serena near side cross. will clear. That was ridiculous. And the moments deep before, down to our right. Dallas inside player takes the Dallas Panther zone. Inside of the net Around the back of the net. Through the far That's circle. Ridiculous. Shakes his way into the neutral zone. Drops it for <laughs> Duchesne. <laughs> Duchesne to center. Looks right. Wyatt Johnston weaves in for Dallas. Right side. Stankovic. That's the uh, behind that's the, the net. Uh, picked hours. up by Kulikov. <laughs> He'll take it away. Brings it off to the near board. Shuffles it back behind the net. Taken away by I'm Stankovic. Kidding. Whipped off to the near side. Reinhardt able to grab it back for the Panthers. On for Kulikov. Gets to center. Dmitry Kulikov dumps it in down to our right. And this one trickles back behind the Dallas net. Ottinger, the goaltender, far side. It's drawn on as Haskinen spots Johnston. He cruises in down to our left. Pass to the far wing. Nobody home for the Stars. And Luos Torinen over to grab it. He'll poke it around the end boards. Duchesne keeping it for the Stars. Then as he intercepts out to the line, Harley walks in. High slot down low. Tipped. Oh, what a save. Bobrovsky with the right pad on Duchesne. But we continue on. The Stars control Harley. Right circle. It's Duchesne looking for a pass back from Marchman. On a bounce, Duchesne has it. Gives to Harley at the line. Long shot tipped in that one wide. Here on the near side, Stankoven. Out to the point. It's Harley. Dishes for Stankoven. Into the near circle then. It's Johnston. Johnston top of the near circle shot. He zipped it wide through traffic. Duchesne far side. The power play for Dallas winding down. Harley right side into the okay, circle. Marchman. So now it's worked back up high. Harley a shot that redirects. It's wide off a lively end board bounce. Stenland finds it. Verhage out of the box. Stenland to center ice. Here's Verhage. Up right, the wing toward right. the offensive end. Poke checked away by Essel Lindell. Over on that far side. Bennett keeps it moving for the Panthers. Grabbed it back. Plays it to the end wall. Around near side. It's Montour. Down behind the net. Bennett near corner. Kachuk to the circle. Front of the net. Jammed it in. The save made by Ottinger. He'll cover up. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This this play is just going back and forth. It's, it's crazy. Good to see Panthers are starting to get back up. Bobrovsky with some big save. That's going to keep it going. Oh, Panthers fan, would you rather play Toronto or a wild card team? Uh, Patrick, to be honest, as a, if I take my Toronto hat off and Put it away. Um, Greggy. I don't think it matters. Pulled away by Florida. Robertson. <laughs> Out to the line. He's knocked um, over by I Sam Bennett. Right and now. Play up the near side by Montour. Probably a wild card team. Here on the near boards, Lindell for the Stars. Around to the far side. Ten have clears. So Panthers in the neutral zone. Sam Bennett. I mean, if there's a potential. He's going to walk this one along. Panther dumps Tampa it into Bay the Dallas zone. Back behind the net. I mean, Ottinger, the goaltender, gives off to the far side. Ten have running too hard by Bennett. But the Stars maneuver it along. 
Here's Essa Lindell. Pass straight on for Rope Hintz, who tried to get a step on the defense. Couldn't get around Nico Mikula. Puck played down to our left back behind the Panthers net. Bobrovsky, he'll leave it for Montour. Gives to Barkov. Pass straight on. Right side. Here's Tarasenko cruising in. Tarasenko right circle. Wrist shot. And it's off Ryan Suter and out of play. So 16-12 left in the third. 3-1. They... Dallas stars Dallas in front of the Panthers to, here. To the Panthers well with some momentum here in the third. They're, they had a successful penalty really, kill I'm as well. Very impressed with how strong and the draw is going to be coming up like near side of the ice down to stars. our right. Sam Reinhardt's going to take impressive. it on his strong side. There you go, Nick. Great choice. And Reinhardt will lean in against yeah, Radek Fox. for joining us. If you haven't hit that like yet, hit that like. Of course, if you haven't Fox subscribed, Fox pulls this one back. Well. Miro Haskinen. Our next stream is going to be Thursday night. Side, it's held in along the near Cheers, board. Steph. Galandria to Foxa, and the Stars get a clear. Kulikov to Josh Mahura. The puck dumped in, down and around the end wall. Here on the near boards, Haskinen on it for the Stars. Around far side, Thomas Harley. And he'll backhand it down to our left. It's kept to the outside, picked up, played along by Craig Smith. That... It's that curved area glass over there at the end of the bench and deflected into the Panthers zone. However, the whistle blows. It went into the bench area. So Bobrovsky definitely well, the face is looking off coming in neutral in ice. Uh, we just got to get these guys. Far down. side of the ice down Rick, to, our, just to our left of center. Kevin Stenland will take the face off against Wyatt Johnston. I, they're insane. Ryan Lomberg and Jim Ben. Just, have a little conversation here before the puck the drops. And off the face off, the Panthers have it. Ekman Larson looks across. Forsling, far side, angled down to our right then by Stenlin. Behind the net, Cousins barreling in there. Ryan Suter plays it along far side. Stankoven then for Johnston. Up the far side, Jamie Ben. Stankoven by Ekman is Larson. Great. Loose puck along the board. Really like Lomberg and Ben, they shove a bit. Puck winds up down to our left back behind the net. Forsling sidesteps a check. Winds it up the far side. Held in at the line by Hockenpah. He took a shot from Lomberg. And then Hockenpah plays it down deep into the Panthers zone. Here on the near side, Cousins will clear. Up the near wing. Lomberg after it. Lomberg deep into the offensive end. Leaned on here by the big defenseman, Hockenpah. Shuffled back behind the Stars net. Rolled up the far side. Suter doesn't clear. I agree with you, Patrick. And as Mikko will play down for Cousins. On. Back out for Nico Mikko. Rob, on the far boards out to the line. Stenlin. He'll launch one down to the a corner. Cousins looking out front for Oposo. Just hopped over a stick right. Circle shot on tour. Save made on during the rebound. Stopped as well as Cousins was in there whacking away on the end boards. Then it's Hockenpah. He's run into by Oposo, but Hockenpah got Welcome the clear. In. Panthers at their own blue line. Montour darts ahead quickly, gets to center, and drives it in. Around the end wall it goes. Now back behind the net. Essa Lindell up the near side for Marshman. Archman's pass to center, intercepted by Luostarina. Panthers get on side. Luostarina dumps it in as Archman put the body on Luostarina. The puck cleared immediately by Lindell into the neutral zone. It's angled down to our left. A race for it down there. Steele got there ahead of Oposo. And Steele walks out to the far point. His pass was knocked away by Oposo. Anton Lindell grabs it. Gives to Los Torino. On for Montour. Pass the defense. Walks in. Backhand. Try save Ottenshire. And the puck handled by Lindell. And Essa Lindell clears for the Stars. Down to our left. Icing Rick, call thank against you so Dallas. Much. Coming in 13.53 to go in the third. Really appreciate it, Rick. Uh, so the comment, the, the X's and the dots. So the X's are all the shots on goal, and the dots are where they've scored from. So you can see a lot, especially in tight, right around the goal. Versus, you know, from the Panthers' side, a lot of shots from the points. But Dallas is definitely driving that puck more in the slot and down in front of the goal and putting those and in. Draw, Here comes Florida. Out the line. Long shot from Kachuk, just missing wide. Here on the near boards, the Stars get a clear from Essel Lindell. Mahura backed up to his own blue line, has it Rick, at the so center much. circle, plays it in down to our right. Around the end board, Sam Bennett. Get to that far circle, out to the point, Mahura. Down behind the net, Rope Hintz intercepting. He's got it for the Stars. Outlet feed, and this one is going to hop away from Pavelski as Kulikov is able to tie him up. <laughs> Mahura, cross ice to Bennett near shot. Dumps it down to our right around no the end boards. Far funny. corner, Kachuk down behind the net. Verhage dumped over, no call. Bennett, down to Verhage again, who's still trying to get back to his feet. Kachuk in to help out. Haskinen has him wrapped up. 
Puck pops free. Pavelski then will clear for the Stars. A slow roller down to our left that isn't going to go far enough for an ice. And Gus Forsley Blake back to handle had it first. A chance to meet 12.57 to go on the third. 3-1. It's Dallas in front. So Ekman nice. Larson. Left wing side. Guy. Reinhardt. Across the ice, on the money, Tarasenko, front of the net, wrist shot, it deflects wide, into the near corner, picked up by Reinhardt, rolls it out to the near point, intercepted by Fox, handed along for Pavelski, gets out towards center, swatted away by Forsling, loose puck, far side of the ice, Forsling almost was able to bolt into the zone with it, Pavelski recovers, he's run into by Tarasenko, but the puck is dumped in down to our left, Ekman Larson took a hard check back behind the net from Fox, a Barkov on the puck, He'll send it out to center. Intercepted Craig Smith back along. Here's Fox on the near side. Shot gloved by Bobrovsky. And he'll hold it there. 12-21 left in the third. 3-1. It's the Stars in front of the Panthers here. And with that, we'll bring it back for more third period action. All right. They're going to take a break. If you're just coming in, thank you for joining us. Welcome to the show. Bringing you the Panthers and the Dallas Stars. I know I'm sorry, Panther fans. It's been a while since we've had a Panther game going on. But we're going to start getting a couple more of them in depending on the schedule. So I appreciate you guys tuning in and listening along with us. Panthers trying to come back. Dallas holding a 3-1 lead. And the way Dallas is playing right now defensively, this is an uphill battle. They really have to figure out how to crack through this uh, defensive structure that the Stars really have put up in front. It is very, very impressive. What the uh, what the stars are doing? So, we'll see if they can figure out uh, figure out a way around it. Uh, all right, tell me this feed just conked out. Wouldn't that be the case? Let's see if we can get this back up here. There we go. All right, I know they're at commercial break, but still, I don't like when it goes quiet. But we still got time. We still got time to go. Twelve and a half minutes. Lots of time on the clock to score two and force this one into overtime. This is where we need the Panther players to step up. We need the Barkovs, the Kachucks, the Verhages, the Reinhardts. Get it done. Get those good quality shots. Make those good passes. Right now, Dallas keeps cutting off Florida. Florida not able to utilize their speed which is forcing Florida to make longer passes, which they're not controlling. And it's uh, it's creating a little bit of a disturbance in the force, if you will. Um, I give 100% credit to Dallas. We said at the beginning of the game, this was a matchup of two giants. And the Stars are absolutely holding down the fort tonight. They are not letting anyone in their end to get anything done. So it's pretty, pretty crazy. They're just coming back from commercial break. Let's see what the Panthers For a loose do. puck, Lomberg nudged it along down to our right. He goes with it near side, tried to throw it out front for Cousins, a little out of his reach, and Ryan Suter will angle it up the far boards, tries Ryan, to clear for the Stars and Will. Now it's played across. Craig Smith, the Landria scoots in, backs off, tried to shot, fanned on it, and then he has to force it down to the corner just to hold it in. Lomberg takes over. He'll launch it out toward the neutral zone, left wing side. It's Nick Cousins to center ice. Montour poked away, and now back the Panthers into their own zone. It'll be Cousins to handle it. He gives to Kevin Stenlin. Stenlin back in his own end. Walks back behind the net. Gives to the far circle. Panthers down a pair here as Kachuk beats one along. Kevin Stenlin. Backed inside his own end. 11 and a half minutes to play in regulation time. Panthers needing two to get this game knotted up. Kachuk behind them. The then end his own zone. Pass up the far side. Intercepted and played back right, along by Tanev. Took a hard lick over there from Carter the Verhage. Welcome to the rookie and squad. And they play whistle for all Thank you so much. Get Tanev some tried to hold that one our... in the zone. 11-23 left in the third period. 3-1. It's the Dallas Stars out in front of the Panthers in this one. Panthers kicking off a two-game road trip here tonight. Panthers will be in Raleigh taking on the Carolina Hurricanes coming up Thursday, you know, thing, 7 o'clock. I think Dallas doesn't draw yeah, a lot the puck of pulled back by Wyatt Johnston, neutral playoffs, zone draw. Year, the Stars will have a tenant. Far really side of the care. ice, flips but one high. Good Jamie Ben team. after very it, couldn't settle it. Far corner, Ekman Larson sends one on, has Kachuk. Kachuk's pass across the neutral zone, intercepted by Johnston. And the puck sent down to our left inside the Panthers zone. Ekman Larson onto the end wall. Back to help out for the Panthers, Verhage. He's got it. Up the left wing side, Sam Bennett. 
Over the center line, he'll drive it down to our right back behind the net. Essa Lindell, far corner, and it's Tanev. Bump by Verhage. Puck played up that far side, and the Stars Most unable to clear. That is now Bennett here I in the near corner. Backhand around far like side, Verhage. Down behind the net, Bennett. Has it on the end wall, shoved by Tanev. Puck played off to the near side, Kulikov, then to Kachuk out to the line, and they say that poked out beyond the blue line. Forsling wasn't able to hold it in. Back come the Stars, however. It's Johnston run over by Forsling, far side of the ice, and Forsling will take over control of the puck. To Bennett, rink wide feed. Here's Kulikov. Kulikov up the right side. He'll dump it down to our right around the end boards. It goes far corner on a carom. Duchesne can't settle it. Haskin and Will. Haskin and around the back of the net. Picked up here on the near side by Harley, who's run into by Reinhardt. Puck played to the neutral zone. Dumped down by Marshman. Into the near corner, it's Josh Mahura. Mahura run into by Marchman. Got a pass on for Barkov, who clears. Down to our right. This one is settled by Haskin. 9.55 to go in the third. Here's Harley. On for Marchman. Across the ice. It's Haskinen. Up the left wing side then for Duchesne, who redirects it deep into the Panthers zone. Bobrovsky to the far side for Barkov. On for Reinhardt. Lewostrinen. Reinhardt left side. Heads in far circle. Poked away. Lewostrinen recovers. And close a shot. And it looked like Ottinger got the blocker on that. The puck goes up and out of play. You know, Panthers continue to the be third, physical. They're they starting to the win Panthers. some face-offs again. Still right back for more here in just a moment on the Florida stars. Panthers. Ready network. Stars have that face-off lead. But again, Panthers now up to 38 hits on the day. Both teams with eight block shots. Both teams with 26 shots. So they're starting to come back. But they, again, what I was saying at the last break, they just cannot penetrate deep into the Dallas zone. Stars playing a great zone slash man-to-man -man defense. They're covering their men. They're getting their sticks in the passing lanes. They have it figured out. I I'm so impressed with Dallas right now. I'm, I'm driving myself crazy because I knew they were a good team, but I haven't really paid a lot of attention. I haven't watched a lot of Dallas Stars hockey. Um, Florida is a physical run-and-gun style team. Um, they're struggling in their own end tonight, and that's that's the difference. Is Ottinger's been good, but the Dallas D has been incredible. Um, really impressed with the job they're doing. And again, if you look at, at the shots, Florida is not getting a lot of shots down low in front of the net. They're getting some. Yeah, Dallas, and it takes a lot to impress me. I'm a Leaf fan, so it takes a lot to impress me. Um, but they're doing a really, really good job, and it's bothering me because, gosh, I, they, how are they this good? How are they this good? When we look at some of the key factors, High Skin In has played 18 minutes. Harley, 17. These are the Dallas D. Lindell, 16. Suter, 13. Tan of 13. Hakapa, 13. The time is very well spread out. Yes, their top two D have played more, but their time on ice is well spread out amongst their D. They're trapping nicely. Hakapa has seven hits today. Seven for the Stars. You know, for the forwards, when we look at that time on ice, Johnston almost 17 minutes. Stan Coven, 15 and a half. Marchment with 15. To walk it along, and again, Montour stripped it away. Ice, gives to the go far side of the ice. It's Nico Mikla is running well to by balanced. Yanni Hakapa. So that's about Dallas 13 feet of human staff. being as those two collide over there. Mikla well and Hakapa both down to the ice, and the ice. stars still trying that's leading to get it out of their own, own zone. And Robertson ultimately will. However, we've got a penalty call. We've got a penalty. 9.07 left in the third. 3-1 stars. <laughs> Crazy Canuck, what's going on? Welcome and it's going to be a, penalty, or a power play for the Panthers, Dallas, rather. number 21, minor penalty for holding. So Robertson goes off for a hold. Panthers power play is presented by <laughs> Seminole one is. Coconut Creek Casino. This one, this one coming at a big time. <laughs> Me and all the snowbirds, Rick. For the Panthers. I mean, uh, Crazy it'll Canuck. be their third power the play of the game. They are one for two. Or regret, and I hate the coach. 9.07 left. If they can cash in on really this power play, all of a sudden fan. they're down okay. a goal with a big chunk of this third period remaining. Clean face-off win. Barkov, far point. Montour has it on oh, the line. Torch Looks better. over. Left Rick, side. Reinhardt. Like into not the circle. The bench Reinhardt. The other night. Out to the point. Montour. Near side. Kachuk. Panthers did score Correct. their last power play. Montour. Now it's Verhege. A shot. He scores a power play goal. Carter Verhege. A laser of a Verhege. reshot from the top of the left circle. And the Panthers are big. <laughs>
the deflection yeah. he Verhage. may have gotten a piece of it get those shots and all of a sudden the panthers are back to within one the comeback and they're still 51 to play here face off coming from Montour center and Kachuk getting the assist pulled back and controlled here by the go. stars sent along the near side by harley Immediately cleared out down to our right. Ottinger's going to have to make a play on it back in the Stars zone. Paddles it off to the near side of the ice. Lomberg holding it in. Tied up by Harley, but the Panthers keep control. Stenland took a pass from Cousins. Down behind the net again for Nick Cousins. As in the trapezoid. Changes directions behind the net. Far circle. Stenland. Cousins there. Out along the far side. Taking away. Steele darts ahead for the Starks. He'll play it down to our left. Into the far corner. Forsling and Steele wrap up. And the puck played by Ekman Larson off to the far wing. Cousins for Stenlin up to center ice. Stenlin drives it in. Down and around the end boards. Far side Cousins wraps it around. Near side. Here's Lomberg out There's to the right point. Shot. Kulikov tees it up Top a blast. Redirected in front. Didn't get through. An and then Duchesne will clear to center for the Stars. Head. Dumped over on the far side of the ice. For the right. Stars with so steel. Good. Panthers able to work it back in. Down to our right. Cousins in after it. But Esselindel comes seven. away with the Panthers. Back to within That's one. Awesome. 747 left here in the third. At center ice, Sam Bennett had it stripped away by Jamie Bannon. The puck played down to our left inside the Panthers zone. Bobrovsky for Kulikov. Kachuk then back for Kulikov inside the Panthers in. Far side, it's Mahura up the wing. Tapped along for Hagee. Got a deep into the offensive end. And the Stars will you know bring it out in a hurry. How a Long feet, like Stank over on the bounce. Ben finds the trailer, but Ben walks out front. A pass across the front oh, of the net for Harley. Hopped over his stick on the end boards. Ben again out front. A shot. And Stank Oven couldn't get it through. They're gonna change that out to the end near boards. Kachuk. Then Verhage will skate it out to the neutral zone. Right Drifts back inside his own end. And then springs one ahead for Barkov. Bounced away, but it's dumped down by Nico Mikola. Around it goes. Montour near side hill. Wrap it all the way back around. Pavelski doesn't clear. Barkov looks to hand it to Tarasenko. It's poked away. A race for it down to our left. The Stars have it, but bumped into is Robertson over there on that far side. Couldn't get a shot away. Robertson regathers back behind the net. Near circle for Essel Lindell. The pass poked away by Reinhardt. Puck goes to the neutral zone. And down to our right. It's Tanev there for the Stars. 6.38 left in the third. 3-2 is the Dallas lead. Like Here on the near side, Rope Hinsel Company. Down to our left, behind the net, Poprovsky. Off to the far side of the ice. This one winds out to the point. And it's shuffled along the far <laughs> boards by Tanev. Nikola then clears for the Panthers. Tanev at center. Takes a hard lick from Reinhardt. Back in go the Stars to the slot. A shot, Pavelski gloved by Bobrovsky. He'll keep it alive by handing it to Anton Lundell. Good night, Seth. Thanks so, for hanging out tonight. To the Appreciate Arena. it. Given to Lundell. Cruising through center into the offensive end. A shot. Oh, what a glove save made by Ottinger. And the Stars goaltender will hold it with 6.04 to go here in this so third close. period of action. So it's 3-2 Dallas now. Verhage's 31st from Montour and Kachuk. That's how the second Panthers goal is being scored. Coming at 11.09 of this third period of play. Kachuk with two helpers in the game. Ups his team leading total to 53. And a faceoff on the way. Far circle down to our right inside so the Dallas new members zone. 604 have to get left in this third period. The, the Panthers so certainly within striking distance now off the draw. It's Kachuk out to the line. Fours like Kachuk. Long shot. He scores from just inside the line. Matthew Kachuk let it rip. It went through traffic. And the Panthers have tied. <laughs> Talking about the Bennett led the fist bump line over to the bench, and he was right out in front of the net. And it's looking like oh, Sam Bennett got a piece of that one on the way in. Yeah. There we go. So six minutes to play in the third, and this game is tied at three. And that's going to be a third helper for Matthew Kachuk. And all of a sudden, the Stars 
And this building uh, let me that check was for you, Curtis. so loud and invigorated at one point in time has watched a 3 nothing lead completely evaporate. And now the Stars break it out. We'll see how they respond now. You could sense it when this third period got going. The Panthers were back to within two. They had momentum building. Uh, now, Curtis, he makes 4.1. He'll tie it in down to our right. Around it goes. 4.1, and, take it down one, and the he's due for an Kachuk. extension at the end he's of the year. He's looking for a call, and now the whistle blows late. Will the call be coming here? It should be. It will be. A Panthers power play where they've scored twice tonight. Oh coming up on the... Other side here, 5.32 left in the third. 3-3 three, is the score. Here's the call. Dallas calling number three. Truman and Minor for tripping. So a Panthers power play coming up on the other side of the break. This game is tied at three. 5.32 to go in regulation. We'll bring it back. All right. Thank you, Prep. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep sliding and, and adjusting it. Oh, my gosh. What a comeback with five and a half minutes to go. Panthers now tie it up, and they are on a power play it's it officially goes to sam bennett right now sam bennett gets credit with the goal wow 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 we talked about all the panthers had to do was kind of crack this dallas setup and it's the panthers shooting from a distance from a distance shooting from a distance they're able to get shots through and past ottinger what a turnaround Panthers are flying right now. Bennett picks up his 16th. This one is from Tuchuk. Oh, my gosh. What a game. He's having his 54th assist. Outstanding. No OT. Panthers win by two. Call it by two. Wow. This, <laughs> this is going to be an absolute showdown here for these next five and a half minutes. Can not wait. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Oh, okay. Relax. It's still a long hockey game. Five and a half is an eternity. R, good night. Again, thank you for hanging out with us. Thank you for the membership. I uh, appreciate you and Steph both for, for hanging out alongside with us tonight. I thought we agreed no singing. Oh, I forgot. I couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself. I'm too excited. Here we go. Game's coming back. Florida Panther power play. And Chris Let's Tanev go. is in the box now for tripping for the Stars. So and the it's Panthers Tanev back the power play the where box. they're two for three in the game. They've scored on their last two power play opportunities. It was for Hagee and then Bennett. Bennett from Kachuk and Forsling is how they're scoring the third Panthers goal at 14 minutes of this third period. Okay. Bennett 16th of the campaign. Three assists for Matthew Kachuk in this one. We saw it. We saw Base them off pressing. Circle we down saw right them off the draw. The Panthers have it. Here's Verhage along the far boards. Down to the corner. Carter Verhage. Out Do to the again. line for Montour. Do it again, Carter. Montour, Verhage, far side. Looks across. Bark up right. Circle in front. Tip. They score. The Panthers have taken Ooh. the lead. Matthew Kachuk right out in front. He tips it home. And the Panthers. <laughs> I've got a four, to be three kidding lead. me right now. And now getting a look yeah. at that one. Kachuk was set up to tap it in. It may have gone off the Stars defender in front. Holy cow. Again, a couple but of hey, seconds the into the power will take play. It anyway it went in. We'll the see how they cats scored. Have it taken looked the like lead. Kachuk tipped it in at first. Barkov wow. sent it to the front of the net, but they it went just off the Stars lasers. defenseman, it looked like, who had Kachuk tied up in front. Yeah, baby. That's what happens. You get to the front of the net, and you draw that pressure. Holy and the moly. puck can take bounces, and in that situation, it took a Panthers bounce. It's 4-3. So right now it's credit to Barkov, which means my Tim so Horton streak like will live on. If well, they're announcing the third off. Panthers goal. They've been coming fast and furious Holy here. So now what a game to play in the third as a post <laughs> chips it along down to our right, <laughs> deep into the offensive end. And now it's going to be brought on by Harley. He'll walk uh, it I don't to know, center. Nick. It's, it's driven in to our left around the end wall near side. And here on the near side of the ice, Harley looked to hold it in. Back Brad coming in. That's right. Let's go, Cats. Zone. And Lindell will hold for the Stars across. This one is 
Pushed along by Harley down to our left. Into the Panthers zone. Far corner. Marchman in there for Dallas. Shoveled up the wall, and this one is going to be kept in by Tanev. Down and around the end boards. Four straight goals for the Panthers, who now lead this game 4-3. Barkov four, gets a 17th Montour from the shot. and Montour. He'll work it along, and it winds up down to our right, down inside the Dallas zone. Tanev, far side, left it in the corner. Then it's Lindell back for the Stars. Essa Lindell behind the net. And he'll work it off to the far side of the ice. Tanev pressured by Verhage. And he's able to rip it away. Carter Verhage far side of the ice. Verhage along the boards. Couldn't get it down deep. The Stars get it clear from Tanev. Mahura rips it down behind the net. So right now they're scoring it to Barkov from Verhage and Montour. The Panthers power play striking for the third time tonight. And up the right side. Here's Johnson for the Stars. Works in shot. Along the ice, and it's stopped by Bobrovsky's right pad. He'll lean out and cover afterward. 3.22 left in the third. And it's a 4-3 Panthers lead over the Stars. What a well, great back to comeback. It again, that's where it pays off to get pressure in front of All that. they had to Matthew do was Kachuk come in and right start getting good shots through. Top of the goal and when we look at these three in, roll, the uh, three in a row, three in a row, a and wrist shot, clean in. Then there was a shot, the Sam Bennett with the tip in. And then it was Barkov, Barkov the with the wrist shot, getting those shots, putting three them through. Consecutive power play goals, or Great say play by the four comeback the play, Four consecutive goals overall. And the Panthers are in front by one. Their first lead of the game, and it doesn't come until the third period. And they were down 3 nothing at one point in time. Now it's the Dallas Stars who have to be the desperate team. With 3.03 left in the third, and their five-game win streak hanging in the balance here. Face-off coming to the near circle down to our left. And when we take a look to Chuck with three assists tonight, Barkov with two points, Verhege with two points. Big guns and getting it done here Lundell for the Panthers. taking the draw. Lundell leans in against Jamie Benn. Off the face-off, Forsley. Around the back of the net, gets a clear for the Panthers, and this one's played all the way down to our right. Ottinger leaving it behind the net. Walked ahead by Tanev. <laughs> Tanev That's for the funny. Stars, right to left across your radio. Tanev dumps it in. Deep into the Panthers zone, near corner. It's Barkov, back behind the net. Montour, and he looks to launch one along. And that went off Peter, a I'd be okay Dallas with that. stick and deflected out of play. I would be okay with that. I'd like it to be the to Oilers. Here in this third but if the Canucks or Jets three, it's the got their way in front of the Stars, well, I'd be a okay If you're with just that. joining us, folks, it was one nothing Dallas after one. The Stars tacked on two more in the second. At the 8-11 mark, Wyatt Johnston scored the Stars' third goal. And it came just 23 seconds after the Stars' second goal. But since then, the Panthers have turned the tables completely. They got one in the second, now three here in the third. And the Panthers are two minutes, 41 seconds away Sorry, from victory. And now Pete DeBoer, the Stars coach, has opted to pull Ottinger in favor of the extra attacker. <laughs> Puck pulled out to the near point. It's Haskin in for the Stars. He looks across <laughs> the ice. Robertson. Haskin it. Looks over. Left side. Duchesne shot. Takes a bounce. Pavelski in front. Whacking away. The Panthers able to keep it to the outside. Montour to the line. Kept in by Duchesne across Haskin him. Right side Robertson. Down low. It's Ben. Robertson right side. Out to the center point. Long shot. Haskin in. Off a skate. Deflects wide. Picked up. Near side. Sent along by Reinhardt. All the way down to our right. And there won't be an icing call here. It's Haskin in back four. Panthers get some fresh legs out there. Ryan, Two left to the third. Haskin into center. He'll rip it in. Around it goes. Near side. It's Ekman Larson met by some pressure. Rope hints behind the net for Ben. Ben walks it out to the side of the net. Gives to Robertson near circle. Duchesne left point. Duchesne fanned on a shot. Hangs on to it. Duchesne near side of the circle. Duchesne side of the net then for Pavelski. Duchesne up top. Robertson across. It's handled by Haskin in. Pressure from Kachuk. It's turned over. Forsling will clear. Robertson backed up to his own line. 97 seconds in regulation time remaining here. 4-3. It's the Panthers in front of the Stars. Uh, cross for Haskin him up the near side. And this one is going to be launched into the Panthers zone. Mikula on the end wall. Pressure from Steele. Far side. Kachuk gives to Bennett. 
He clears. Haskinen backed up to the Dallas line. 117 left in the third. Up to center. It's going to be driven in by Haskinen. Around it goes. Barkov far side under some pressure. Barkov keeps control. On to Reinhardt. Reinhardt up the left side. A shot of the empty net. It's just wide. And a race for it here on the near boards with 104 to play in regulation time. Marchman in against Reinhardt near side. The Stars keep control. Marchman feeds it on for Steele. Steele across center ice. Looks to his right. And out net. the right side. Smith. Sharp angle try. Save Bobrovsky. Got the right pad on it. Lively bounce out to the front of the net. It's pushed out of the zone by Tarasenko down to our right. And the Stars scramble to start a rush. Up the near side. Robertson. He'll look to play it deep, but that sails out of play with 39 seconds to go here in this 39 seconds to go. Panthers up 4-3. And to answer your question, if it ever came down to Toronto and Florida, Toronto's my number one team, so I'd always pick Toronto over Florida. But Florida's my number two. And Ryan, the way I hope it works out is Boston overtakes Florida. Boston wins the President's Trophy, gets the bug of the curse. Toronto knocks off Boston, no problem. Florida plays um, well and moves through to the second round. And all is fine. Both my teams move through. That's what I'm going for. <laughs> That's going to be a seven o'clock face off. Oh my gosh, what a finish we are here. And then the Panthers, the Panthers put three straight Saturday. to take the lead. 39 seconds left. This has been an incredible comeback for an incredible game. Two monster teams duking it out. Dallas was so solid defensively until the last couple of minutes so where the Panthers, Panthers have found a way through. Verhege's Let's listen 31st, to the final Bennett's second. 16th, Barkov's 17th. Matthew Kachuk factoring in with three assists. Multi-point game for Carter Verhege. Couple of helpers for Montour. Let's Goal go. and assist for Barkov. Lifted. Thank you for hitting that subscribe. Face off near circle down to our left. Is Barkov a lean in against Rope Hintz? Bruno, what's going on? Welcome in. And now Hintz is going to be asked to step out. Jamie Benn's going to step in. 39 seconds left in the third. 4-3 Panthers. Off the faceoff win for Ben. The Stars control. Here's Haskinen. Looks across the ice. Robertson. Haskinen. Near circle. Duchesne. Across. High slot. A shot. Robertson couldn't get it through. It's cleared by Kachuk off the far boards. Out to the neutral zone. 24 seconds. Haskinen near side. Robertson. He'll dump it down to our left. Around far side. Kachuk. He'll give to Barkov. He doesn't clear. Hints kept it in. Robertson across. Here's Duchesne. 13 seconds. Duchesne near side. Backhand feed. Haskinen across. Robertson in front of the net. It just hit wide. Kachuk in the corner. He's going to chew it up. Plays it around. Far side. Four seconds. Robertson shot. Blocked over there along the boards by Barkov. Panthers that goes win. to the neutral zone. Panthers the Panthers win, win it today. And now it's 4 3 in comfortable fashion. The Panthers, Panthers come all the way off. back an and take it 4 3 here in Dallas tonight to kick off the road trip. What a victory for the Panthers. Unbelievable. This was incredible. If you were just joining us for the end there, we said at the beginning you have two of the top three teams in the NHL doing battle. And they battled Dallas dominating defensively for the better part of this hockey game. And it really was not until halfway through this third period where the Florida Panthers triggered the comeback. And here are all your goal scores of the game in case you missed it. Spare what's going on. Welcome in rad. Yeah, let's go cats. It was a beauty an absolute beauty. If you missed it, here is what transpired. Joe Pavalski opened it up with his 24th from Robertson and Johnston. That was the only goal in the first period. In the second, it was Robertson, his 23rd on the power play from Pavalski and Ben. Then it was Johnston, his 24th from Marchment. Then Sam Reinhardt picks up his 46th of the year on the power play from Barkoff and Kachuk. Carter Verhage then opens up the third period, about halfway through the third period, on the power play, picking up his 31st of the year from Montour and Kachuk. Sam Bennett then follows it up with his 16th from Kachuk and Forsling, and then Barkoff on the power play with his 17th of the year from Verhage and Montour. Shots were even 30 apiece. Dallas led almost wire to wire in the faceoff circle. At one point, it was even 50 50. 
but the Stars pull it out 54.8% in the faceoff circle. Panthers go three for four on the power play. The Stars go one for five. So very evenly called game at the end of the day. For the most part, Dallas's penalties were called throughout. Florida's were all at the end. But a lot of the calls, there were a lot of missed calls, and some of the calls were horrible, horrible calls. So, again, the officiating, not great. 41 hits for the Panthers, 30 for the Dallas Stars. Panthers block 13 shots. Dallas blocks 9. 14 giveaways for the Stars, only 5 for the Panthers. 10 takeaways for the Panthers, 7 giveaways. That does it for the season series. The Panthers beat Dallas in both meetings this season. Onyx, what's going on? Good to see you, buddy. Um, so that is the final, and what an unbelievable hockey game. If we were to take a look and give our three stars of today's game, we'll we'll look at what the what the pros give out. But for us, for what I feel, I gotta take a look, and you know what? It's who do I give? Who do I give? You know what? I got to give Joe Pavalski. Joe Pavalski's getting star number three today. I was, you know, tempted to go with with Johnston or Robertson. They all three got two points tonight. All were a plus one. But Pavalski had three shots and he had a hit in 18 minutes. Plus, he was better in the faceoff circle at 62.5%. So we're going to give Pavalski the third star. Second star tonight. So I see, who did they give it to? They gave Robertson. Yeah, so Robertson was right there. They give it to Boborowski and Kachuk. My second, I'm going to differ a little bit. I'm going to give uh, the second star tonight to Carter Verhage. Carter Verhage had two penalties. He had uh, two points tonight, a goal and an assist. He had uh, the shot on net. He had a hit. He did it all in 16 and a half minutes. Plus, he was perfect in the faceoff circle. So Carter Verhage is getting my second star tonight. Um, he really turned things around and got it going for the Panthers. And, of course, Kachuk, he gets it done. He is my number one star. Uh, thanks so much. Yeah, Spaceman, super happy to see that in there. What a finish. It was absolutely gangbusters. I mean, it was just awesome to see how this one closed out. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. It's been a long time since we brought a Panthers game to you. We're going to have more of them coming. So if you're a Panthers fan, make sure you hit that subscribe, set your notification bells. We're going to have lots of hockey down the stretch. We're back on Thursday night for the Leafs and the Philadelphia Flyers. You know, that is going to be a hard hitting affair anytime those two teams get involved. And by the way, Sam Reinhart collected his 31st special teams goal of this season, only seven players have recorded as many in a single season in NHL history. Mario Lemieux, Joe Neuendijk, Tim Kerr, Dreisaitl, Dave Vanderchuk, Wayne Gretzky, and Phil Esposito. So congratulations, Sam Reinhart. You have now put your name with amongst some of the best in the game. I want to thank everybody again who hung out with us tonight. I want to thank our new channel members and our gifters. Um, thank you so much to Prep for the, the gifted membership and the Super Chat. Congratulations and welcome Rick and R. Uh, Robin for joining us on the membership squad. Thank you for being part of our community. We really do appreciate it. To all of our channel members, thank you for supporting us the way you do. It honestly, there's so much that your, your memberships mean to us and it allows us to do so thank you for supporting us that way um to everyone who found us tonight and hit that like button and subscribed and even if you're not a panthers fan but you just wanted to hang out and have some fun tonight thank you that's what our community is all about having a good time enjoying some good hockey and an amazing comeback by a fantastic team thank you panthers oh, God, you had me so worried wayne what's going on what an amazing comeback thank you to all of our mods uh we appreciate you for doing a great job we are on the way to 11K, so tell your friends, tell your colleagues, hey, you got to come check out this channel. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. We appreciate you. From all of us here, have an amazing night. We'll see you on Thursday. Go Leafs go, but one more time for the Comeback Cats, it's Panther Night. Take care, everybody.